welcome back to the channel. We can't do any road trips this year, which is a real shame because I've got plenty planned. So we can look at a retrospective one from a couple of years ago now from when we did Route 66 and introducing Barry. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Barry I've known for a while now. But I to, what, we met in secondary school, so that's what, six, seven well, years ago now? I think, I think, yeah, we were 12. So, yeah, about seven, seven yeah, years. Yeah, seven years ago now, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> and then when we had a, a significant birthday, which would have been, what, 20? Yes, let's yes, 20, say 20. our 20th birthday, yeah. Um, we decided to go and do something <laughs> epic. We decided to go have a road trip and do Route 66. So we abandoned our families and all jobs and everything and for two weeks drove across America, which was good. Brilliant. Was yeah. Really good fun, yeah. Um, so yeah, we originally, our plan Brilliant. was, we, was yeah. we started out thinking we we're going to buy a classic car, didn't we? So we buy a classic car in Chicago. Yeah, and then we looked into that, and then we thought, well, actually, we actually do want to enjoy the trip. We, yeah. What we don't want to do is spend half of it trying to fix the car. Exactly. On the route. So, yeah. yeah so, that, that, that. so then we thought we'd rent something like a, a sports car, like an open-top Mustang or something like that. And then I met someone who organises Route 66 trips by chance, and he said, well, the time of year you're going, you might actually get snow and ice, so I'd recommend a four-wheel drive. But also, he was actually recommending doing the oldest possible yeah. roads yes which was the other did. reason yeah yeah we did oh. yeah that, 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 yeah which is one of the other reasons why it was a good idea to get a four by four yeah um because a lot... go on. Yeah. it's unmade road isn't it it's, it's, it, it was <laughs> concrete and some of it's not even we never even made it to concrete did it so it was oh, dirt road right. yeah so, and some of them uh, some of the old roads actually go through national parks now don't they they do yeah so we um got a bit caught out by that because yeah they mm. they were shut <laughs> all across america <laughs> Yeah, the, uh, the the UK, the UK, sorry, the US government at the time had decided that it didn't have any money, so it couldn't pay any of its employees. That's and right, so yeah. most of the national parks, I think except for one, um, which was being funded by the local governor, uh, were all right. closed. Yeah, so we did get to do two national parks just by complete luck in the end, didn't we? So, yeah. Yes, yeah. I think the one that I really missed out on, I think, was, was that Petrified Forest. Yeah, I wanted to see that as well. So, yeah, that was going to be amazing. But next time, next time. So anyway, I've got this, this book, which I made up at the time, which is a, a photo album, which is in the right order, so we can try to remember what, everything that happened. Otherwise, it, it was a lot of a blur. Um, there, a, we crammed a lot into two weeks. Yeah, we really did. I mean, I, I took several thousand photos, and I actually edited a thousand for a photo library at the end. So <laughs> that was... Well, the thing, that, the thing that amazes me is how many GoPros you got through. Yeah, you know, we burnt out three, I think, in the windscreen. <laughs> three. I, yes. Fourth, fourth, fourth GoPro made it to the end. Yeah, I mean, that was a survivor. But yeah, I think the heat in the windows, especially in the hot states, just burn them out. So we yeah. go to the next Walmart, take it back with the receipt, and get a fresh one. But yeah, we flew yeah, into Chicago on was it on a Saturday? I think a Saturday we flew into Chicago. Well, and if we're gonna if we're gonna start from the beginning mm. of the story. I don't know, do we want to talk about what happened when, when we got to the airport, Matt? Well, that's what I was going to say, yeah, because we, we planned to have an afternoon in Chicago and visit the, the Bean, which is a big, giant chrome bean, which is the size of a house. Yeah. Um, but we got to the airport, and I'm a member of the AA, which is the Automobile Association, not the other one. Um, and in the UK, if you are a member of the AA, you get a second driver for free on your car hire. So I booked the car and turned up at the rental place, and they only had one driver on the car, didn't they? <laughs> Yes, yeah, and also they struggled getting us a car because they went, oh, you're going between states. You want to yeah. go to another state other than this one. So this one-way oh, rental no. across the country just completely threw them, yeah. So oh, yeah. four yeah, yeah. hours, five hours in the rental place to try and get that sorted out. And, th and this is after the delay we had even getting onto the plane, though, isn't it, Matt? Oh, I'd forgotten that. scared the living bejesus out of me. Um, Matt here... Uh, oh, yes, must forget that, must we? <laughs> no, let's not. It scared me a lot. Which was, made me laugh you know, a lot. And, and, and we, you know, Matt had taken his car and um, we parked in the car park at Heathrow and, and you know, all our bags got to um, going through the check-in and they did the swab for explosives on my hand luggage. Because been in your wife had very kindly put a bottle of water in your hand luggage so you wouldn't get thirsty on the trip. That's and so they singled well, you out for yeah. extra searches. We, which, which, uh, yeah, let's not go there. Anyway, uh, but what I hadn't known is the fact that where my hand luggage had been sitting in the boot of your car, Matt, 
was where the day previously you'd had all your shotgun cartridges. Yeah, so they found explosives and gunpowder on your bag. And, yes. And Barry had to go for the special extra search in the quiet room. That's right. <laughs> and I, I was thinking, oh, rubber glove time. I, I managed I to get this onto Facebook before they even got the rubber glove on. So. <laughs> I know. And I was thinking, oh, I'm going to kill Matt. And, <laughs> and Matt and myself are both going, we have no idea how that happened. I, honestly, I've, I've, I've never even been near explosives. <laughs> after they took me away, just, just after they took me away, Matt went, oh. <laughs> I, I know why there's that. I know why it cut that. no ice. That cut no ice. Yeah. They, they they no ice. And, and, and luckily they took me off and it was more like a Joe 90 type scenario mm. than an actual rubber glove, thank God. Uh, it was the whole standing in the machine with my arms up. Oh, I, I didn't think they got those introduced at that time. I thought there was going to be yeah, the, know, the full it, on. It was a whole 360 degree x-ray yeah uh, i was I, I was very happy and and i would not have been very happy if we did the other thing <laughs> no they did the whole big x-ray thing oh, and okay yeah. being, um i did say i said oh does that do like a whole like 360 degree x-ray then of your body and they went yeah, yeah it does can i have a copy of that <laughs> <laughs> did they say no they did say no yeah, oh, okay, yeah. I'm, sure, I'm sure they get asked that a lot i mean they must do amazing would that be to look if at they, if they charged a fiver for that they could t cover the cost of you know the, the uk border force if i put a freedom of information request in for my data well yeah you probably could actually probably could we're going off topic but yeah i reckon we could yeah yeah <laughs> it, it, it was five six years ago now so it was yeah 2013 wow. so yeah it'll be seven years in october wow, wow. which is a long time we need, to do this. we need to do that trip again. But anyway, yeah, we got to America yeah. eventually, yeah. thankfully. <laughs> and um, yeah, we, they said, okay, you've got a four by four. We found a car for you. We've got a second driver on there because it was nighttime in, in the UK and they couldn't get hold of anyone in the UK to verify we had a second driver. And we said, they said, you've got a Chevy or a Toyota. And we said, we, we're doing an American road trip. We want an American car. And the woman behind the counter said, it's a long way. I'd take the Toyota. She <laughs> <laughs> did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, which I, I, I was surprised at because I, yeah, I was, yeah, I thought that the, the, the pride Americans have in their own products and things normally yeah. they'd be shouting yeah. about the Chevy, but I guess they must have. And, and the other thing was the, the Toyota itself. Um, she did say the reason we can let you have that is because it's got so many miles on it already. Oh, yeah, <laughs> and it was one of the oldest vehicles they had in stock. It was the, the plates are on it. I'm going to find a photo of that car because that. The number plates on it weren't from anywhere we were going or starting from. Looking in the photo of them right now, see if there's a close-up of the car. I think maybe Georgia number plates on it. So they come from miles away to start yeah, with. Yeah. And they, they still charge us $500 to repack it. I think it was going straight to auction. So I think they were just completely ripped us off. <laughs> so. Yeah. Because that's the other yeah. thing they, they promised us, that there wouldn't be a $500 repatriation fee on the car. Which yes, they, they did. Which, which you, did you ever get that money back? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a shock. Well, the thing is, they, they, they throw it on you at the airport when you're waiting to get on the plane. And you don't have time to stand and argue because you, you've got to check in. So, no. And, and, and luckily, you had some money available on one of your accounts because I didn't have any money you left. went on a credit card, and I think it's still there seven years later. So, <laughs> so we finally made it into Chicago and we got to yes. see the city that apparently does sometimes sleep because <laughs> it was dark and shut mostly. <laughs> It was pretty much dark <laughs> and dark, yes. Uh, and we got there in the late, it was late afternoon, wasn't it? So Yeah, by the time we checked in and everything worked out again, it was, it was dark. We literally drove straight from the airport to the hotel. Yeah. Um, checked in that first night. The first night was when we went to get pizza, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, we were going to go up on the Sears Tower, but it was shut. Um, That's right. There's that sky thing where you can walk out on the glass box and see the, the city underneath you, but it was closed. But yeah, we did. We found the deep dish pizza, the home of the deep dish pizza. The original restaurant, apparently. What did uh, I say? And queued to get in, so. Yeah, we did, yeah. yeah. But that was, that was a good pizza, though. It was um, a very good pizza. I think we did, yeah, that was kind of it for the evening. That was, was it, we did have two nights in Chicago. No, we just had one night in Chicago, didn't we? Because we were going to go to the oh. Blues Bar, but. After the, no, yeah, so after the pizza, yeah. we did go to the Blues Bar, didn't we, Matt? Yes, we did go to the Blues Bar, because I'd booked tickets to see some great blues musician playing in a Blues Bar, and that's why I chose the hotel, because they had parking, and you could walk to this Blues Bar, and you only had to get, yeah. in, get in with reservations. Unfortunately, I'd not factored in the time difference. 
meaning we were there on the wrong day. <laughs> So he's a while. We even left the scene. That was the best bit. And then said we bought a beer. We 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 the list. Yeah. We've definitely got tickets. No, no, no. For today, absolutely, hundred percent. And they looked it up and looked it up, and then, and they said, "Look, look, look just go in." So we went. We yeah, got to the bar. They sold us a drink. Yeah. Tried to buy a place to sort of sit because it was it was packed. Oh yeah. Um, and a band started playing, hmm. and then one of the bouncers came up to us, didn't he, Matt? He did. <laughs> he did yeah. <laughs> but your ticket can't be valid. Yeah. No, no, and it wasn't until after, in fact, we left that we actually realised the tickets you'd got were for the day before. No, I think it was the day after. It was a different day anyway. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was yeah. a different day. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't the night we were there, and we weren't going to be in Chicago oh. the following night, and we obviously weren't there the previous night. So yeah, that was that was that. That was so we went back to the hotel and got an well, a night. I was an early night. It was quite late by then. So <laughs> well, if you, that that first night, if you remember. We both tried just to get to sleep, but well, yeah. Um, like say, then we tried to sleep, and then yeah, jet lag. Yeah, mm. was it four o'clock in the morning? We woke up the next morning. Yeah, we woke up at four in the morning, and then you decided it'd be a really good idea to go walking around the murder capital of the U.S. at four o'clock in the morning, so you could take some photos. Got some great photos, though. I think it was absolutely worth we did it. Get some great, and we found a Dunkin' Donuts that was open twenty four seven, and got coffee. Lovely and, um, coffee. Yeah. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll flash up some of the photos here. It looked really cool. It was a nice atmospheric morning. We didn't get murdered. Um, we saw like two other people on the street who said good morning to us. And so I think the, yeah, the murder capital thing is overblown, frankly. Absolutely. I think maybe, uh, yeah. I don't think, I think we would have walked around the park at that time of the morning. Maybe not. Maybe not the park um, itself. No. But, um, I'll explain that though. I did bump into, I thought I was talking to someone from the Microsoft, I think, um, a few years afterwards. And they said, oh, I live in Chicago. And I said we were walking around at that time in the morning, and they said, "Oh, you should have gone to the park because um, it's full of joggers that time in the morning." Oh, really? So the safest time to go at sort of four or five a.m. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well, all, all the killers sleep in. Yeah, yeah, three six a.m. is the, is the busy time for the park. Oh, fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Well, did, I don't think we actually got any more sleep after that. Then we just wandered back to the hotel, packed our stuff, and left him because we wanted to make an early start at Lou Mitchell's, which is the official start of um, of the route. Yeah, which I don't have my t-shirt on. I'm really sorry. Sorry, I should have worn my t-shirt. Um, it was it was the first first purchase, wasn't it, of, of it the was. trip? Actually. Yeah, but I I didn't wear. I, I got a Ray's Music Exchange t-shirt from the Blues Brothers. So we tried to sort of stand on. Well, I tried to stand under the old train and pretend I was doing the dances from outside. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It was very. And we actually, we managed to park almost outside Lou Mitchell's because it was yeah, so. Uh, yeah. We got there at like seven o'clock in the morning it was kind of as they opened and it's it's a world yeah. i say world famous world famous in route 66 circles place where you get breakfast in this diner where they do this amazing are they kind of sugary dough ball things like mini donuts yeah yeah I can't, what did we like have the size of a golf ball and it's like a tiny doughy donut thing oh that's sugary and lovely and you give you they give them to you as you, as you go in and then you go and got your breakfast and so that's like once you've done that you're officially on the route <laughs> Um, and then obviously we had to sort of do a, lot, a few circling around the block a few times because there's a road just before that where a sign says Route 66 begin and it's near the, near the lake, isn't it? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's just near the park and the lake. Yeah, and yes. um, if you remember, I think it was a little bit, was it a little bit cold? And drizzly? It was Did quite raining. Happen? It was raining quite a lot. Yeah. It was drizzly and very cold, actually. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. I, think, I, I think that first photo of us at the at the start sign yeah. uh, of Route 66. We've actually got our coats on, haven't we? We have, yeah. There we are! Hey! <laughs> I remember we went around the block about three times trying to find that turning as well, because yes. to navigate it, we've got a sat-nav and a, a TomTom, -tom, which that doesn't have Route 66 in it, but had an amazing app on the iPhone. Well, actually, I've got to show you something, actually. Oh, go on. Talking about, yeah. talking about sat, uh, sat nav. Yeah. The one yeah. thing Oops, in, in my bag of numbers here, something you might remember, Matt, that I've noticed is in here. I need to... Make sure it doesn't stick on it. Oh my god, it's sort of stuck on other stuff. Do you remember, Matt? You you saved that thing. Wow. <laughs> that, that was about a week into the trip we made that. We stopped and bought a sellotape to build that. <laughs> so made out of GoPro. <laughs> yeah, one of the mini GoPro boxes was sacrificed. We stopped and bought a scissors and, scissors and sellotape. I found out I had scissors in my multi tool. Um, so you see, we've got the little cutout. You see, so the phone charger. Yeah, this is a, this is a homemade phone holder which we sellotape to the dashboard of the Rav Four. <laughs> I think it's a photo of that one in the car as well. We've we've still still sticks, still sticks. That's some quality tape there. 
<laughs> but the, the brilliant hat, which I don't think exists anymore. Um, but it showed you, it, so you sat enough to keep your position relative to the map at all times. It doesn't navigate. You could scroll it along and it showed all the alignments of yeah. 66 alongside the real road. So you could follow whichever alignment you wanted and um, also showed you different hotspots to go and visit as well. Um, uh, points of interest. Things have been, that's it. Um, yeah. That's <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah so... so so yeah, that, that that was what guided us on our iPhone six, I reckon it probably was. <laughs> All the no, way, oh, wasn't it? I don't know, it or four. Like, it was very old. Whatever size crazy, iPhone fits old. in a better cardboard from a GoPro pack. I, I remember because I had an Android phone at the time, but the app mm. itself that you'd found with um, all the old roots on it didn't work on Android. It only worked on iPhone. So I had to have the iPhone plugged in and running on the dashboard all the time, but it didn't scroll. So one of us had to keep on sort of scrolling the screen <laughs> constantly, not let the phone go. The one was driving, was scrolling. <laughs> <laughs> but then, as as I'm a big Blues Brothers fan, then it was quite exciting because we drove out through Joliet. So we drove past Joliet Jail, and we drove yeah. past the Lifting Bridge. Um, and there's yeah. ice cream parlors with like the um, Blues Brothers on the roof as things. And before we even got out of Illinois, we found Illinois Dragway, didn't we? The drag strip place where there's a massive. Yes, and they were having. On. They're having a swap meet. Yes, that's right. Yeah, yeah, for all those classic car parts. Yeah, there was so much oh. stuff we could happily have bought. But it was like day one. Don't fill the suitcase of bits of classic car on day one. Oh, wait there, wait there, wait there, wait there. <laughs> wait there, hold on. Second purchase. Hold on, I'm right. I'm waiting. Sorry, right, I can't find it. Damn it. Because <laughs> the, um, uh, my Rich 66 hat. Because um, at, at um, the uh, swap meet, they actually had um, some oh. merchandise, Route 66 merchandise, and I bought that Route yeah. 66 hat. Do you know what, on this page here in the book, there's actually a photo of you oh, wearing the hat you were just looking for. That's it, yes. <laughs> yes, it's been better days right now. I oh, really tired now. Either. So we it need is. to go back and do the trip again, because I broke my mug, your hat's looking tired, you can't find your t-shirt, we need to go and do this trip again. I know where the t-shirt's upstairs, they're, they're definitely the t-shirt is upstairs. What's easy, driving across another continent or clearing that bedroom? Oh, continent, definitely. Yeah, oh, exactly. Continent. exactly. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> and there was a Thunderbird convertible that someone had restored, and it was under $10,000, and at the time, the exchange rate was almost 50%, wasn't it? So it was a really yeah, cheap yeah. in that respect. So it would have been about five thousand pounds for a res freshly restored Thunderbird convertible. It, it would have been, and and the, uh, and the thing is, we were both sort of looking, thinking most there was a lot of com comparatively cheap cars there. Were, yeah. um, but taking into consideration the shipping and getting it back, and this was like day two of our holiday. It, yeah, again, we didn't want to blow all of our money on day two. <laughs> yeah, um, and in fact, blow more money than we actually were going to spend, and in fact, oh, getting. Yeah. But car budget is different to holiday budget, so car car budget, holiday budget, it's different, different, different budgets, you know. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I, I'm, I'm glad you have different budgets for those. I, I, I still have. <laughs> I have one budget. It's uh, yeah. Um, the one. <laughs> that's the one. It's gone. <laughs> the no budget. <laughs> I've got my pocket money. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. And yes, and my budget, as my son just said. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh dear. Well, so we right. managed not to buy any cars there, not any engines, and, and no. there was a few nice Appletons, which I only want to get an Appleton or two for a couple of cars, but uh, didn't get them. Um, and we found the Giants, didn't we? Then we, there were the massive Giants we found, which the old Muffler men. Yes, 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 yes. And we were we actually we, we we looked out for these, and we tried yeah. to find as many as we could. In fact, we went out of our way, didn't we? We did really, yeah. Started going off the route in places when we heard that there was a muffler man to go and see. And if you've not heard of a muffler man, it was back in what the forties, I guess, or the late thirties. Yeah, thirties. Yeah, it must yeah. have been thirties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Giant sort of plastic or whatever made of fiberglass statues of, of a guy holding an exhaust pipe. Um, and they're about I don't know what. I'm looking at a photo of you. Yeah. Stood one right now. And you come up with knee, so if you're yes. like two meters tall, um, yes, four, six, eight, eight to ten meters tall, and I, I would, I would say, yeah, about ten meters, yeah, roughly yeah. tall, yeah, easy, so, yeah, 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 yeah. The first one we found was the Gemini giant, and he's got, well, I guess done in the late fifties, early sixties when the Gemini rocket program was happening, and he's got a little rocket in his hand, and they've put like a <laughs> instead of a muffler. 
Yeah, and that's where we started meeting that gang of bikers who are all like a, not a biker gang, but a group of bikers all doing a, the same trip as us, but they're running at virtually the same speed. Yeah. Every time we stopped at any, any site, there would be a dozen Harleys and things would turn up and stop at the same time as us. Unfortunately. Um, yeah. It's because we are so hard. Uh, that's what it is. Um, they, they assumed we were members of a biker gang and leaders family. of a biker gang. Yeah. yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Grizz, Grizzly, um, yeah. yeah, that's uh, exactly, yeah, grr, grr, yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> I think they Illinois is one of the best places for, for, for old old stuff to find. Illinois is probably one of the best states because they've got so many old garages and gas stations and signs and paraphernalia. Fact, I've actually got the oh. Route 66, uh, Illinois Route 66, oh, brochure wow. right here, oh. um, actual fact that we picked up when we were there, which goes through some of the really cool stuff. And in fact, actually, we found that. Do you remember that particular little dead end road? Oh, that yeah. We found, that we tried to go down. Oh, it was a ghost related yeah, or something? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah. And it was part of the original route, but um, it, went part near, it was near a graveyard, wasn't it? That's right. Yeah. It was just it ended in gates and it was all overgrown and really creepy. We've kind of found it at dusk we, as well, we, didn't we? We went so. down there for ages and then we had to turn back. That, that was rather unfortunate. It was. It was um, fun. But glad we saw it though. I think I've got a photo of it. And that was not far from where we found Dead Man's Curve as well, wasn't it? Yes. The Dead Man's oh. Curve is on the route, but it's not really going anywhere. You've got to drive off the road and onto this little kind of diversion and then back on again. Yes, just drive up Dead yeah, Man's Curve. Yeah, yeah. Which, which it didn't look actually that that life threatening. No, I'm it didn't. I'm looking at the photo of it right now. It's, it's really not that, that scary at all. There's a little RAV4 doing its, its thing. And there we are yeah. with the second Muffler Man we found, which was a giant hot dog guy. Which you're trying oh, to eat? Yeah. Oh, hot dog. Yeah. oh, you got him there, yeah. Yeah. Downtown Atlanta. Yeah. 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 Atlanta, he, North Atlanta, North Atlanta, yeah, Atlanta. Atlanta. Yes. He um, he was he was good. I liked him. He was good. Um, I think I think my favourite one. I think was still the one next to the giant um um rocking chair. But we'll get to him later. Well, yeah, he's later on the trip. That was later on. Later on. Well, actually, looking at the next page in the book, there is the road end sign we found actually on that very day. Um. Yeah. yeah, that's a haunted, yeah, scary true. road, and that was the old Shell gas station. Which was the oldest. We can see the Route sixty six sign on the on the ground, actually. Oh, uh, you can, can't you? Yeah. yeah, yeah. And that those sort of buildings down there further. Sorry, those buildings were Atlanta, weren't they? That town. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And um, the, actually, that one with the with the the, um, the drive up bit there with the tree yeah. going through the middle, wasn't yeah. that where there was that some sort of weird sort of little house? Display as well. Shell station next to it. I think it's like the oldest shell station on the route, or something. Oh. And um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that was yeah, that was just abandoned, not abandoned, but kind of preserved, but empty beside the road. But yeah, that that was a nineteen late twenties, I think, garage. And mm. yeah, that tree has obviously grown there in the last fifty or so years. <laughs> but then we got to our first. Well, one. I, I think. Um, yeah, I, you know, I should have actually gone through. I should have actually gone through all this stuff. <laughs> um, before actually, but because I thought I'd leave it until the actual, you know, we're actually oh, yeah, yeah. About the recording. But I should, yeah, I should have gone through it previously and then worked it out into actual time order. From, oh, you know, yeah. whatever you were. that would have been sensible. Yeah, that would have been that. Thinking back, actually, that would that would have been sensible. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Cool. Right. Sorry. So <laughs> next, uh, uh, yeah, where we are, our first, our first night long. in our first night on the road, which was in that little Thank motel, you. a proper motel, which is part of the route. I forget the name of it. We actually go all the way out of Spring, uh, of um, Illinois on the first night. On the first, no, night. We, we stayed in Springfield, Illinois, the first night in that motel, and that was the one that had the cockroaches. Yes, because didn't yeah. we get there really late, and we just we went out for we, <laughs> there was nothing to eat anywhere nearby. No, so we went and got miles to the Chinese. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, there's no other well, food we ate in the Chinese takeout with with chopsticks, and the woman was like, "You're eating with chopsticks?" So, yeah. yeah. What, what are you? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I think we've been the only people that ever I asked for actual chopsticks. Oh, yeah, we, we stayed, the motel we stayed in though, that was one that was a historic Route 66 motel, but I cannot remember the name of it because the app that we recorded everything on is now dead. Um, yeah. But yeah, and, was, and, and that, that was when we got in there and noticed there were cockroaches um, on the floor, yeah. uh, walking in the, in the bedroom, because um, we had um, two single beds and the guy went and spoke to the guy and he went, well, I haven't got another room. Um, I'll get someone to come down with some, um, some, um, some bug spray. And we were like, oh, okay. 
so he came down and then sprayed around the beds, actually mm. physically around the beds. Un and under the beds themselves and all around the bathroom. Yeah, yeah. yeah. With, with something that will kill a cockroach. And, and then it's a... Yeah. <laughs> something sleep in the room. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I remember having this whole conversation with you. It's like, I'm not sure I want to sleep in, in a room that's just been sprayed with stuff that will even kill a cockroach. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Can we sleep in the car tonight? Yeah. <laughs> yeah I remember. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I just, just keep driving. <laughs> we just left the windows open for all, I think, didn't we? And then uh, it was probably yeah. fine. Yeah, pro probably fine. I mean, I'm only slightly asthmatic now. Exactly, yeah. It didn't, it wasn't <laughs> in the world. <laughs> no. Oh, dear. But yeah, we got up again the next day, survived the night, and then we went mm. to St. Louis to see the arch. Yes. Which was shut Which because of the shutdown. Long. Yes, because it's a national park. Yes, or national park. We got there. No. No, I didn't. I was thinking it would be some sort of feature that you just go and have a look at. No. Realising it's um, actually run by the, um, by the government. Office. Yeah. So, but you can, on other days, go up right to the top of the arch and look out over St. Louis and look at the big muddy river. And Yeah. So yeah. We, we parked near it, looked up at it. Mississippi. Mississippi. I, I call it the big muddy one, yes. Yes. The big muddy one, yes. We drove on. Um, we, we, found, we found wigwams and a giant dog. Um, <laughs> Yeah, was the wig rounds next? No, no. I looked at the photo and thought, my goodness, we can stay there, did we? But right. no, there was like a like a Native American outpost selling junk. And we, oh, we stopped there briefly. They had a terrifying dog, so we got back in the car and uh, and drove on. Well, yeah, we did look around, though. We went around the, the, sh the store, though, a little bit. And yeah. Well, it, was, it was okay. Yeah. There's nothing really wanted to buy, though. Um, no. No, nothing I really... Oh, I'll tell you what we did, though. though just um, the, the big chain of Roxbridge. We did that. Oh, though, rocks. We? Yeah, that was later on that day, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah that, that was on that day because that was near St. Louis, wasn't it? So it was, yeah. Um, I think that was that was in the afternoon. Was that before or after actually, we found the best diner of the entire route? For some thought, reason I had it in my head that that was further along. Well, I kind of thought that as well, but I did this uh, this album in order and it, um, we were near the Garden Way Motel. We drove past that and took a photo of that because it was interesting. And that also we stopped at Danny's Gas Hole and 66 Outpost that day where we took photos of the Devil Relbo that day as well, didn't we? Uh, that was that really weird sort of, uh, that really, really small little bridge in the middle of nowhere. In fact, we talked about right, it. Yeah. yeah, I'm going to put, put photos up on the screen to show, to illustrate all of this. Um, but yeah, we, this is where we just saw the giant rocking chair. So I thought that was further into the trip as well, but the giant rocking chair was just day two, or the first day of proper driving. Yeah, it can't have been. Because, you know, that's where, because I wanted to do the, the um because that's that was the gun shop. It was, but, yeah. Um, and the, you bought a, a pint oh. of, of moonshine, and then the guy said he just got a new machine gun. Did we want to go in the woods and play with his machine gun with him? Yeah, no. Are you guys here tomorrow? Because my friend's coming down with a machine gun, and we're going in the woods to shoot it. Would you like to come with us? And uh, we both sort of looked at each other and went, no, no, thank you very much. But I'm sure it's a genuine offer, but there's a very good chance of being sure got buried in the woods. So why was it when we stopped then at that... That sort of Back to the Future type town. And we thought, oh, that's a really nice um, sort of uh, pop shop um, stroke uh, sort of diner. Um, and then we couldn't get in because they, they said, actually, no, this is, um, this is a youth centre. We've actually oh, just run it. That was quite a long way on. That was where the um, British airmen were buried in the, in the graveyard. So quite, that was quite a way down. There were, there were Lancaster crew who crashed training during the war. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, so we did that. We did the rocking chair, did the giant bear. We wanted to do um, um, archery as well because they got an archery range, but they wouldn't let us do that with crossbows. No, but I got chatting um, with the, um, because there's only literally there were two people in the shop, wasn't there? That's right. Um, yeah. Yeah. And it was, all, it was all like, you know, uh, you know, camouflage, hunting gear and stuff in there. Yeah. Um, and I, I actually like archery. I'm not bad at archery. Yeah. And the guy was like, no, I'm not babysitting you. I'm sorry, I'm not coming out. Yeah, he was down the back. He was really unfriendly. The woman in the front was mega friendly and chatted for ages. And then the other customers came lovely. in. And that's yeah, when yeah. I invited out to go machine gun shooting in the woods. Yeah, and that's when I bought the, um, the jug of uh, moonshine. Yeah, I say, I say um, pint. It was a weird big size jar, but it could have been two pints. It was a lot. It, it, it was, yeah, it, was, it, it, it did. Thing is, I remember, I actually, I drank that one night when we got back. You drank most of it one oh. night in. Um, we're, get, we're still in Missouri. In Cary, in New Mexico. So it's right towards the end. Yeah, but yeah, the rest of the day in Missouri, we um, 
we, we stood on the road, train tracks because there's endless railway lines. We stood on them. But then we stopped in a motel that night, which is a place where Elvis stayed. And that was in Springfield, Missouri? Springfield, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. was... Um, Quite, I actually quite liked um, Springfield actually. I did too because nice. that was where we went and we found a nice sort of nice pizza place for dinner and then we there's a whiskey bar where we spent the night in a whiskey bar having amazing the entire wall was every whiskey from around the world virtually. It was a huge wall of whiskeys and you know, yeah. we both like our whiskeys so for us it was it was great and and I you sort of took your time there's a massive menu um, of, of different whiskeys and, and it, you yeah. sort of and you went through and you know took your time choosing really nice whiskey. That's right, yeah. Um, I remember, yeah. And, and I decided that oh look, there's one called Loki, and I like my Norse mythology, so I'm just going to go for that. I yeah. didn't actually know the price of it. How, how much did a shot of Loki cost? About thirty-five dollars. Oh, fifty dollars. <laughs> there's a lot of money for one shot. Four hundred dollars. <laughs> I actually looked up. I looked up the price for a bottle of that stuff, uh, yeah. and it's 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 in the thousands, thousands. Really? Wow! Thousands of was it was it worth it? It was alright. I mean, um, it was a bit. I'm not a massive. I know you like your peaty whiskies. Um, yeah. I'm not a massive peaty whiskey fan. I like the smoother whiskies. Um, so it was one I'd have enjoyed more than you would have done. I'd have appreciated the two hundred bucks more. But yeah. that was a night where we were chatting to the barman, which is like a regular theme of this. Just chat to everyone in the bar, and. Um, Turned out he was a big petrol head, and he'd done a manual V8 conversion on an E30 convertible. Yes, that his girlfriend—it was his girlfriend's car. That's, That's right. right. Yeah. And yeah, he and walked, he walked um, outside, roof down, unlocked. Yes, because yeah, because um, she was she was behind the bar. She was the barmaid. No, oh, no, he was behind the bar. His bar he was. She was sat at the he bar. Was yeah, me, bar man, and mm. she was sat at the bar next to us, and we had a Polish girl. Sitting on the other side of us, oh, that's who right. was yeah. up there or something, I, don't know. I think in the area. Anyway, she, so uh, she was, um, and she gave us a lift back to the hotel, didn't oh, she? Yeah, oh, that's so we right. were like, and so did cab ride. But yeah, the, yeah. the guy said, I don't need to bother locking the car, no one around here can drive it, it's manual, and it was unlocked outside. So go and have a look, yeah, because um, and so we, we went outside, and I mean, it was a, I mean, it was an amazing conversion, mm. there was no room left. In that, it was, in, it in, was in, crammed. Yeah, oh, it was, yeah, absolutely. And it was, it was a thing of beauty. But it, the interesting thing was, again, they left the car unlocked because it was a manual and basically no Americans mm. could drive it. They never got stolen. But funny enough, the Polish girl also had a manual Civic. Yeah, and she said she the same thing. thing. Yeah, yeah, no one, no one can drive it, so I never get stolen. I never lock it. No one else, can, no one else can get into it. <laughs> Fantastic. So yeah. that, that was that was St. Louis. Um, sorry. What? What town did I say? We were in Springfield, Springfield. Missouri. Springfield. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that was that that was good. That was a good night, actually. I really enjoyed that. Yeah, we yeah. that. And we saw a lot of more little tiny, tiny, just really kind of run down little shops, old, yeah. old, old buildings selling just knickknacks. There, there was a lot of of um uh, poverty. It was. That, but yeah. yeah. I was quite shocked. I didn't actually realise the level of pov the poverty actually in Middle America. You always think of America being a very affluent country. Yeah, but it's a real but, sort of game. It's extremes, isn't it? There's extreme yeah. wealth and extreme poverty very close to each other. So yeah, because that towns are on the edge. Yeah, we were speaking to that um, that um, uh, woman who'd done up that bar, and that, and that was sort of near here. I think it's slightly further on, and. Um, she was saying that basically most of the families in the area, the reason they've made this 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 place for kids to come and do their homework and stuff, mm. it was full of IMAX. Do you remember? It was full of yeah, it was, it was full really of well done. It was like a real sort of nineteen forties yeah. milk bar kind of place, all kind of chrome and yeah. metal and tiles. But yeah, an IMAX. Um, and she was saying basically that none of them are broadband. They can't yeah. afford to get on the internet. No, well, they've not got no computer at home. So yeah, no. they have to come there to do the homework. Yeah, so all the kids were coming to that area to do. I, I was I was quite. Yeah, I was quite shocked actually. Yeah, yeah. but uh, that was it was, yeah, it was it was very beautiful though. But, it was, um, yeah. Then we stopped. In, was it Carthage in Missouri? We stopped for lunch. A little kind of town square town with a church town hall in the middle of the, the green square and all the. And we yeah. stopped. Had um, like a very really nice sort of lunch in a little kind of mum and pop type cafe. And then we yeah, to, it was like a proper little tea and cake type cafe. Was, yes. It was really nice. And there's a little map on the wall of all the, the visitors from around the world have been from. So you can put a pin yeah. in the map, show where we come from. We did, yeah. Um, yeah, and, and then we went over to the gun shop. Some guy just bought a magnum and 
Yeah. And this guy, yeah, had literally just bought a Magnum. He just picked it up and he's going, hey, do you want to have, have a hold? Do you want to have a... Yeah. And, and, you, and we were talking about, if they were going, oh, where are you from? We are from England. Oh, you guys can't have guns, can you? And, and well, we were going, yeah. About what we can and can't do in, in England. And yeah, yeah. So, it's quite interesting. Yeah. Try, try not, to be, it was, it not was, be confrontational, but yeah, be kind of factual and open minded. And yeah, mm. that was interesting. Yeah, yeah, no. we, got, we drove drive out of town. We found the drive in theater, the big outdoor drive in theater outside the edge of town. Just hide it behind. Yeah. Yeah, I stopped yeah, yeah. to take a photo and got, got yelled at for walking up the driveway because it wasn't open at that time of day. Because then we, okay. we drove out of Carthage into Kansas. Yeah, but we were literally, weren't we in Kansas for like, I don't know, two miles? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was not long at all. We've got two fields and then we're in and out, in and out again because you, you're just at the corner of Kansas, don't you? Yes. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. You sort of like get cut through, don't you? Just in the, just in the corner. Yeah. But what was the town? Then the town where the, um, the cars of Route 66 place was where the woman who was, she was a, a real a chatty, chatty, loud woman. She was one of the characters was based on her in the film. Um, and they got Mater. The, the, the truck oh, yeah. that Mater was based on was, was outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and, and the, the people from the, uh, Disney had actually given them a copy. That's uh, it. But the truck the, uh, is the real Mater. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that was really cool. Oh, and I bought my son a uh, Mater badge. From the show, oh, yeah, 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 that was quite cool. That was very cool. I can't think actually, well, there was nothing we did really did in Kansas, was there? Well, there wasn't really anything to do. We saw that little tiny town, we stopped at a, like a milkshake or something there. Uh, I bought a book, um, we did, yeah, I did. I bought something else. Oh no, I bought a um, images of 66. There we go. Oh, I bought this book. Ah, I, I forgot I had this book actually, yeah, which is amazing. It's really, really well worth a read if you're planning a trip on route 66 there are so many books you can read illustrated route 66 is good images of 66 gives you a good idea and also we both read the um billy Connolly one as well didn't we that's one ah. yeah. which is a great bit of reference saying take a car not a bike because you'll get really chilly knees and very tired so yeah 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 absolutely which is one of the reasons why we didn't obviously do it on a motorbike i mean the other reason is that neither of us can actually ride a motorbike but that aside yes yeah <laughs> yeah yeah it's America. I'm sure they would let us. Oh, yeah. Or, or taking an RV. Actually, maybe an RV might be fun next time, but then you miss out on the motels. So Yeah, I don't know. I think I, I, I would, would quite like to do it in a classic or some sort yeah. of mass lane convertible or something. Or I think in your, next time it will be the buy a classic car and ship it home at the end. Yeah. I mean, if, if money was no object, I would say go and get some really nice top of the range, sort of like, you know, the, the, the Mustang GT. Uh, what's the... What's the current one? GT500? Yeah, but you need to be older um, than basically a classic, really. This is why I haven't shipped a Crown Victoria over yet, because the duty on a modern car is just so extreme. But if you go with a classic car, and if we drive to LA, we can just drive it to the port and get a cab to the airport. And that's that, true. That just saves on my kind of shipping to the port fees. <laughs> ah, yeah, not just a hat rack. Not that's just a hat rack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can drive your hair often. Exactly. Yeah. Then my brain is cooler. I can think more clearly. <laughs> It's part troll. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh dear. Right. So anyway, right. anyway. Right. Oklahoma. 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 Oh, the fringe on top. Yeah, and other terrible songs. Yeah, this is where yeah. we did the um what was it called? Well, there's a couple of things that we did. Before we even got to Tulsa, we did the Totem Pole Park. Oh yes, we did, yes. That was very cool. Which was yeah, massive totem poles. Yeah, just big recreation totem poles. Yeah, but they were made of they were made of concrete, weren't they? They were made well, of cement. Yeah. yeah, they were fake. Yeah, it was and a bit of a weird. Thing. I've just got a photo of you stood next to one here, so the dogs just wandered in. Um, you can see how big you are next to the trunk of it. Yeah. Oh yeah, they were humongous, and just below that, yeah. you can see the blue, blue whale, whale. <laughs> in Katusa. Is it Katusa? Katusa. Yeah, the Katusa blue whale. Yeah. That's yeah, right, you go inside that. I think the two dogs have just wandered in. Hang on, I'm going to evict the dogs. <laughs> I heard the door open and suddenly there's something warm and furry nuzzling my toes. <laughs> Get out from underneath the table. <laughs> well, this, is, this is where we found the um, the soda fountain place. This was in the oh, beginning oh, of Oklahoma, oh, but I can't remember the name of the town. This one. No, not Pops, no. Pops was different. Oh. We'll come to Pops in a minute. Now, the, the one that was all well, the IMAX and the educational place, it was 
This place. Oh, yeah. that, that's the one. Yes, this yes, is yes, the yes, beginning yes, of yes. Oklahoma. I can't remember the name of the town. Uh, that must have been, oh, crumbs. It must have been one of the little villages then. It was one so, of the small towns. They did a really good frozen yogurt there as well. Uh, not in that place because they didn't serve food or drink. We just literally just drove into some small little town just wondering what it would be like. Yeah. So, Is it a, a brochure for that town? This is a bro brochure for Oklahoma. Oh, okay. Oh, fair enough. Because <laughs> 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 then we, when we hit Oklahoma, is it the, called the Blue Trail? Uh, what's it called? The the old uh, the Okies route. What was it called? Route sixty six museum. Oh, that was in Oklahoma. Do you remember it had it on cars? Do you remember it had the uh, the classic yeah, cars? That's right. And we got sat in them to get photos taken and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, that was good. Yeah. We drove down the dirt road. We did the first dirt roads in in there as well. Hang on. So we got yeah, we did a nine foot concrete. Um, is that well? Was it Oklahoma? Where's where was was it Tulsa where they had the military museum or the guns? Um, that, that was just after the Blue Whale. Yeah, yeah, we, we, we carried on going, didn't we? Yeah, because the woman said, "Oh, your ticket will be um, valid for tomorrow if you want to stay around." Come That's again. That's right. We were like, oh, "Wish we could," but yeah, okay. we stopped at this museum with a tank outside, and it was the biggest gun private gun collection outside of the army like, in the <laughs> world, and it was just a massive warehouse. And we sort of ran in, from... ran out again. And uh, yeah, ran in, ran out again, sat on the tank for a photo, <laughs> and drove on to... Went on to Tulsa, didn't we? Yeah, it was Tulsa, yeah. Yeah. Because we had a hotel booked in Tulsa. Because what we did, what we did basically, is we, um, just because obviously you guys don't know this yet, um, uh, we had certain nights booked in, in certain places, sure that we didn't lag behind, because we had like yeah. a couple of nights in Vegas and stuff like that. So that's it, what yeah. we did, and then, and then, and then there was a, like um, three or four nights... Uh, five nights maybe sort of intermingled um amongst the whole two weeks where we didn't have any accommodation booked and so we basically we were just trying right how far can we get okay we've got this far brilliant yeah, well, okay, right. yeah. yeah 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 what can we find in the area let's look it up on TripAdvisor and, oh, well, and also with, um, the app was showing us different hotels that were sort of famous route 66 hotels as well that are kind of traditional on the old route yeah, yeah. as well oh look Oklahoma travel guide for 9 oh, yeah. 2013 oh wow <laughs> <laughs> That might answer the question. What's the name of the, the dirt road route we were driving on, which has got not the, not the Rainbow Road, is it? It's a particular name. But I think th this is where we started speaking to that lady, you know, about the, um, uh, the mater. And she oh, was yeah. saying, oh, yeah. we bumped into that couple, didn't we, at that place? And we said, oh, we're doing Route 66. And they went, oh, yeah, we're doing Route 66 as well. And I went, oh, brilliant. Where have you come from? She went, oh, just down the road, really. Um, so like, All right, OK. And um, we said, oh, we started in Chicago and we're going down to LA. And she went, oh, I'm home. Yeah, most yeah, so many people they just don't go out of their own state. They do the sixty six oh. bit, but for their own state and in yeah, Canada, their own Kansas. state. Yeah, Kansas yeah. is just like to the shops and back. It's <laughs> and yeah. you the corner of the state. This is it. I mean, yeah, but then I think, and then afterwards, I thought about this and thought, well, actually, you have to get a specific insurance policy, don't you, to go driving out of the state. Most insurance policies for Americans only cover you inside the state you're in. Yeah, they're a bit strange, aren't they? I'm a bit bit vague on American insurance, but yeah, it's, it's kind of funny. It depends on the tags in the back of the car and things. But in Tulsa was a good night, actually, because we, we we struggled to find a hotel. We wound up at the Desert Hills Motel, which is a proper old neon and, you know, drive up to the front of the room type motel. And we were just a block away or so from Tally's Cafe, which is an old 1940s kind of diner. So we had dinner in there. And hang on, I'll show you the photo from the outside. There you go. Jogging memory. Yes, I remember walking down because that was yeah, it was great. Didn't we go back in there for breakfast in the morning? Well, I think we stopped in there for a coffee late at night and then breakfast oh, as well. Because we drove around. Were the... going off to clubbing, weren't they? They just these couple were in their pajamas and they just been to a reading of Chuck Palahniuk, the Fight Club author's new book, and we didn't know about it. And they thought we were really cool for driving across the country in a rented car. And we thought they were really cool for going to a Chuck Palahniuk reading. Um, but in no, we didn't. We didn't have dinner in there. We stopped and had coffee there early in the evening and then last thing late at night and breakfast again. Cause it was like yeah, a breakfast. Place. Yeah, we yeah, stopped yeah. and had, um, I'm trying to think what this restaurant was. If you look at this bottom corner of the page, um, that was like a fried chicken or ribs or something. some traditional Tulsa meal. Yeah, it, was, it, wasn't, um, it wasn't that memorable. A barbecue. It was a barbecue restaurant because that was like a real Tulsa thing, was barbecue. Yeah. Tulsa, Tulsa was barbecue and neon town. So we did neon. Yes. It wasn't yes, Tulsa also the, the centre of the universe, where there's a echo... Near a river? And, and a rail yard as well. 
So you sort of stand on this bridge where there's like a little kind of obelisk yeah. thing. Oh, okay, it was Tulsa then. Okay, so yeah, Tulsa was actually quite a nice town actually then. I like Tulsa, yeah. 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 But then we, we drove on and we next day we did, did the night of, of oh, we've got neon spotting, so parking the tripod yeah. on the roof of the car and taking photos of neon. And then the yeah. next day was back in Arcadia. On the... Or was that in actually Oklahoma City itself? That, that was Tulsa still. That was still Tulsa. Was that still? Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. And then we did, did breakfast in Tully's Cafe again the next morning and drove on onto more little dirt roads, which is great yeah. fun. Because oh. oh. yeah. you follow down the dirt roads and you follow the obelisks on the old Oki Trail. That's it. Yes, 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 yes. And then we found the yeah, round that, that was a proper old concrete road, just yeah. big enough for the one car to go down at a time. And it was it it was exactly the same way that it was in the 1920s, 30s. That's it, yeah. Apparently they're looking at maybe putting like a second road alongside these now and preserving these to make them into walkways only. Because a lot of people are doing what we did and they, they're worried it's now going to start degrading it because people are picking up on it again now. Ozark! Ozark oh, Trail. Trail. Yes, of course it was. But that was a really good day the next day because we not only found we didn't go into the, the round red barn, we just passed it. There was that bizarre Route 66 museum which had the Volkswagen Beetle sticking out of the, sticking out. Out the wall. So you could sit in the, in the front of the Beetle and turn the steering wheel. Yeah. And he made all yeah. the like, characters of the Cars movie out of junk and stuff. Oh, and there was all weird rooms in the house yeah. that we sort of walked through that all had just junk but done in Zero weird slash junk slash it was really interesting it's like five dollars to wander around and it was yeah but you couldn't find yeah. it we sort of drove past it like twice didn't we so back and forth trying to find this place that's it yeah yeah it's like a really old man ran it as well i don't know if he's still around because he was oh yeah he was he was, yeah he, he, he was getting on and we were i think we get that when whilst we were there there was only one other people a, a couple that showed, yeah. showed up but we did we, for lunch though we stopped at a, quite a big landmark on the route which is the rock cafe and the lady, we've got the only really good cup of tea I've ever had in America there. And it turned out I was served that cup of tea by Sally the Porsche from Cars. Oh, yes. I remember that. Yeah, she was, that was... yeah, she was the woman who Sally the Porsche is based on. <laughs> the Rock Cafe is a stone or brick built cafe where it burnt down years ago. And only the, wood, the, the stone walls, the brick walls and a metal Argus survived. Yeah, there it is. And there's the, there's the little Sally alongside it, actually, saying this is, um, yeah. That was, that was nice, actually, that place. It wasn't really as that. good as, as that, um, the best burger we had on the entire trip, though. Which was a little say. tiny diner, middle of nowhere, could never find it again. Literally, yeah, yeah, yeah. There was, like, a, a couple of regulars that were sitting. It was, a, it was quite a big diner, actually, wasn't it, if you remember. It was this one here. It's, um... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that was it. The food wasn't massive. Yeah. It was like a regular sized portion, but it was served quickly and the really nice and friendly people and it was beautifully cooked. Really yeah. Good quality. Really yeah. good quality food. The only thing that put, put me off about that place, and it was literally just one thing, is the fact that there was a couple of regulars and luckily they were in a different sort of section to us. But they were smoking indoors. Yeah. Yeah. Was, yeah. yeah. We don't get that in the UK no, anymore. It's really just strange now to have that kind of intrusion in your meal these days. So yeah, it's funny. Yeah. Bizarre. And that, that, that was that thing was was one of the things that shocked me the most. I think going across yeah. America, it was surprising, was, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. But, uh, then, yeah. Anyway, sorry. Yeah, we moved ah. on, and then that, that leaflet you found a second day for pops. We, we yeah. made a pop, which is also still in Oklahoma. Yes, it is. Where they've is. got how many different flavors of pop? It's a like a gas station, and the gas station shop is nothing but different flavors of, of fizzy drink. They've got basically got a huge neon sign. Basically, that is is on the outside. Yeah. It almost sort of, when you're sort of going towards it, it looks like a petrol station. Well, they do, do sell gas there as well. You, you can fill up with they fuel. Still there. Gas. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, I think we had like bacon flavor soda and I forget what. Yeah, there were some very strange ones. I think we just we we picked a couple each, didn't we? Yeah, I mean, just we to see what they were like. Yeah. Yeah, we didn't. <laughs> We didn't actually buy that many there, I don't no, think. Bought, like, two each and then kind of shared them just to sort of see the experience of what on earth they were. As, as I recall, they were quite expensive. I think that's why we only had a couple each. Yeah, yeah, you could have happily, if you had lots of money, spend an awful lot of money there. on. But yeah, it was enough dollars per, per bottle to make you think twice before thinking, shall I have the, yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> But then, yeah, I think it's El Reno, looking at this photo, we found another giant, which was the giant milk bottle on top of that little kind of hut oh. in the middle of the street. 
we stopped on the, on the side of the road just to take a photo of the giant milk bottle. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we knew absolutely. it was coming, we're looking out for it, and it's on a massive junction, like a four-way intersection. That's the, that's the milk bottle building in Oklahoma City. Yes, but it's on like, like, a, like an interstate, like a four-way high, four-lane highway, virtually. Yes. At a junction. Yeah, so it was, it, I remember it being a bit dodgy to stop there. It wasn't the greatest right. place in the world to stop, but we did stop. <laughs> no, we obviously, obviously we stopped. Next yeah. week. This book is so handy for, for what all the stuff happened in because I would have no clue otherwise. Because here we are, me being a, a fool in a in a fire engine, and there's Myrtle, the um whatever it was. Oh, thing. Yes, me giving up Myrtle a hug, obviously. Yeah. Um, she looked like I need a hug. The Kachina doll. Hug. Yeah, the Kachina doll looks happy to receive the the, the hug. Um, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a cheery smile. <laughs> Uh, it's quite sort of Absolutely. sad. It's, it was quite interesting, and part of the route is seeing things like the Cotton Ball Motel and the Western Motel, where there's just like a rundown shack where there's nothing there, or you know, just a, a shell of a building there now, which kind of showed the formal glory of the route. But we did drive a lot past a lot of those. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's interesting um, how um, you have these sort of bits and pieces that have sort of been made up and look amazing. But most of the time, when that's happened, it, it's because individuals themselves... Yeah, they've plowed a lot of money into it, personally. ...time, um, as, as, as passion, opposed to state. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Then we saw a few... We got kind of heading into Texas after this, because then we, we saw... I forget what this town was, where there's this... Oh, well, before, before that, actually, actually, I'll take it. Oklahoma City... Oh, go on, yeah. ...the canal. Is it? Remember the canals? Oh we to... yeah, we stopped and we stopped by the canal. We had dinner and well, instead of yeah. going to some interesting place which we heard about, um, and then completely forgot about it until the next day, um, we, broke... we went to like a chain restaurant and then some guy was playing his CD. And did go CD to... of him? No, we yeah, we did go to a chain restaurant because the one that we the one that there was recommended by the person in the hotel in Oklahoma City. Um, I, I think the, the the wait was way too long or something. We, we no, tried we went, to go. To, we went in there. We and we got a cab over there. And went in and it was really like over the top posh and expensive and it looked like it was coming in. I'm sure it was great yeah, food, yeah. but wasn't really what the vibe we were after, was it? No, it was like, yeah. They... We walked in in shorts and t-shirts and everyone else was in like suits. And But I think also the, the people we've met in Tulsa, I said, well, if you're going to Oklahoma City, you need to go to such and such a restaurant. It's amazing. Because wasn't it some sort of sports bar -y type place? Yeah, it kind of was. We kind of sat on the outside. It's quite nice by the canals. We sat there and then we got the waitress into trouble because we were just chatting to her. She was interested in sort of foreign people who come to the Oklahoma. I've never met British people before. She got into trouble for just chatting too long. But then we went we to can't help. We're, we're irresistible. I think that's the problem. We're, we're um, very friendly. We're nice, easygoing people who are good. To, we're great to talk to. We're great company. <laughs> <laughs> who wouldn't so have been nice yeah. in our company? Like you wouldn't believe. <laughs> Picking up friends along the way. Oh dear. But then we did go to the bar after that, which is like the biggest collection of beers in Oklahoma. And they had like an, a wall like 100 feet long of different taps of beer and things. Oh God, yeah. Yeah, I don't think I drank that night. I think because I, I was, I think I was going to be the person driving first, their first thing the next day. Oh, we took it in turns, didn't we? Yeah, we, we drove like, took it in turns with the first, but then we did like two hours each on and off, otherwise it's getting... Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, that was an interesting place, yeah. Yeah, nice. I liked that Oklahoma City, yeah. Yeah, that was cool. <laughs> <laughs> but then we headed off towards Texas after that, and then we saw the, the garage with a thousand signs outside, and then we saw this phenomenon of people just parking hundreds of old cars in fields, where they just never sold a car, they just bought a new one and parked the old one in a field beside the road, which is yeah. just bizarre. And then the old gas stations as well, the old, old fuels, more old fuel stations. And this is one of the biggest disappointments for me on the entire route was the U Drop Cafe, U Drop In, which I wanted to get to from long before I got to the Route 66. A big Art Deco 30s gas station and diner and restaurant. Oh, and yes. Motel. And closed. Yeah. And it had closed yeah. down like the year before. And they let us in to walk around because I said oh, I was so looking forward to it. And they said, oh, come and have a, have a, have a poke around. But I thought I'd hoping we could stay there for the night or at least have lunch or a cup of tea there but no we just got to take a few photos and walk around it was absolutely oh, it was, uh, beautiful yeah that was that was um un, unforeseen which yeah, yeah was a, that was a un, un, unfortunate should we say it was a shame yeah. yeah but we drove off from there and then we kind of drove we followed the, the route 66 road 
and then Route 66, remember this bit, it just ended in the middle of nowhere. And so oh, it, yeah. just, this is in Texas still, just turn around. So we did see the world's biggest cross um, in the distance. Oh yeah, well that obviously, you know, you've got to see the, the cross of our saviour Jesus Christ in Groom. Is it in Groom? Oh, of course it was, yes. Groom, yes. Groom. Yes. Groom. yes they're, they're grooming everyone. Hey. <laughs> Don't groom everyone. <laughs> Well, that's about we stopped in the big Texan, wasn't it? Yes, yeah, so that would have been Amarillo. Hang on. It is Amarillo, yes, you're right. Yeah, because that day we drove into Texas and then we drove, we saw Cadillac Ranch. Was that the next oh. day? We did that, that yeah. day, the day after. We saw it the day after, actually. I'm jumping ahead. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah. We stopped that night. We got as far as Amarillo. We went to the big Texan, the home of the 72 ounce steak, which is on man versus food. With food, yes. And we yes, thought we might have a go with that. Not... No. Then we saw one. They got one in, on ice outside in the queue, and you look at it as you're waiting to get your table, and you think, nah, nah. <laughs> I'll be yes. buying a 70 giant steak. I'm not getting that one for free. <laughs> there is no chance I'm finishing that. And I, I, I'm, you know, I'm pretty good at eating. Um, yeah, yeah. But uh, no. I know, there's no way I could get through that. Because no, yeah, it came with like a baked potato and fries and vegetables. And, and side. Yeah, because the, the steak uh, itself was, was that kind of size. Yeah, but it was like that thick. Yeah, it was, it, you, it, feed, it was, it was, you feed a minibus full of people off this thing. It was it was a beast. Yeah, and, and it was, and you had to do it all in an hour. Yeah, um, including the jacket potato and the prawn cocktail and the side salad and yeah, um, and 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 everything basically. Um, I think the last uh, person to do it was a tiger. Yeah, got a photo of a tiger a, doing a, it. Tiger. Oh, well, I don't think a tiger would have any problems with it, but uh, <laughs> I, I did. I did really did consider it, and I did sort of recommend it. You know, saying Matt, what do you reckon then? You know, shall we give it a go? And I think you took, just took one look at it and just went, no. So, no, there's just literally no way I'm going to manage that. But the next um, day was quite an adventure because this is one of the two national parks we actually got into that wasn't shut, which was Durango oh, National Park. Yes, because this yes, is yes. where you got out and prodded a tarantula and a snake. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't think the tarantula. The, the tarantula seemed quite friendly. The I snake think, wasn't um, so nice, though. Yeah, the, the snake was later on. The snake was after Santa Fe. Oh, I thought the snake. Uh, I thought the snake was in this park as well. No, 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 no. The, the snake was on the way back back down from the mountains. It was just crossing the road. Oh, okay. The, yeah. The, the park. It was just the tarantula. Oh, fair enough. I, 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 like, and he just hit the brakes and leapt out of the car. car, and I was like locking the doors in case it had like a. <laughs> <laughs> I can't handle the braking. Oh. I don't trust those things. <laughs> no, I'm not getting out. <laughs> no. oh, look, it's really cool. Look, it's just. Oh, it's really no. cool. I've oh, got oh, telephoto oh, lens in the passenger seat. Tarantula in the wild. I, I mean, <clears throat> just doing its own business. And um, yeah, yeah, it's business yeah, of killing yeah. people. I've just got nothing to do with it. You don't kill people, tarantulas. They're well, dirty. Here, here we go. Got the there photo. I, I was sat yeah. in the passenger seat with a 300 millimeter lens while you're going. <laughs> Very sensible, I think. Um, but but yeah, the, the landscape <clears throat> Rango Park was just incredible, wasn't it? The, the, the landscape was amazing. There's canyons and mountains and cactuses, and it was a real yeah, kind of we wild west stuff. We did a walk, didn't we, through the actual um, through, yeah, through the was, reserve? That's quite a decent we life there. Yeah, we went into some um, caves and stuff, yeah. and then you sort of, sort of said that possibly us going into caves in the middle of nowhere wasn't one of the best options for us really because we don't know what's inside. There might be bears. <laughs> I think more snakes, I think. Yeah, just snakes are the big issue. <laughs> more tarantulas. <laughs> <laughs> tarantulas is more like a beast thing, but yeah. you know, snakes on your hand. Snakes, yeah. yeah, snakes would be pretty bad because if you want to be kicking rocks and finding snakes under them. But it turns out snakes weren't what we needed to worry about. It was our own foolishness we needed to worry about because that was where we sunk the car. <laughs> Well, no, no, no. We almost did. We got it. It was resting on its belly pan in in a riverbed. <laughs> so. yes, we got out though. So we got uh, out. Yeah, I think that was a win. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. There have been rain, there have been unseasonal rain, hadn't there? And so mm. this riverbed, which is normally just a dirt thing you drive across, was now quite muddy. And we thought it's a four wheel drive Rav Four. We can do this on its summer tyres. So, but then we sat sitting there in the car thinking. Uh, so we went over and had a look, didn't we? Yep, at, yeah, we got out the car, yeah. Yeah, yeah and uh, and then some guys came along actually in a big 4x4. Oh, that was afterwards. Me. That was after we got ourselves out. The guy in the 4x4 came off. Oh, okay. I thought that was beforehand. No, okay, no. Right, yeah. 
Because okay, we, so we, we, we then drove in, got to the point where the car was literally up to its axles and wouldn't go forwards or backwards. <laughs> and then we managed to go backwards. It's fine. Yeah, you managed to sort of stick it in. Is it diff lock or low? I forget what that car yeah, had. Yeah, it's just diff lock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I managed to sort of free it and drag itself out backwards, and then the four wheel drive. It's a jacked up Jeep with loads of ex extra off road equipment on it. Came up and looked at our car, looked at the thing, and I said, "Can we strap our two cars together? So if one of us gets get stuck, you can pull the other one out." And he went, no, "I'm not trying no. for that." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he said, "I'm not, I'm, I'm not giving that a go." <laughs> realised how deep that was because he he sort of edged in a little bit, didn't he? And just went no. I think, yeah, he, he barely got his treads dirty, though, so... It, it, his is more of a lifestyle vehicle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, after we extricated ourselves from, uh, from the mud, that's when we made it onto the Cadillac Ranch. Yes. Oh, yeah. do you, have you actually got the picture with us actually um, tagging it? Uh, I have got it on the computer. I don't know if it's in the yeah, there's me. There's me tagging it. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. On the left, down there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and that's the yeah, car. Looking on the car. Not too bad. Oh, it was brilliant. And it's literally in the middle of nowhere. You're just driving along and you go, hold on a minute, what's, why is there a whole lot of cars stuck in the ground? Yeah, it's um, bizarre, isn't it? Because then, yeah, it's just a farmer's field off the side of the road and you're just driving yeah. out of Texas and suddenly you're there. I was surprised how quickly we got to this point because the next bit was midpoint, which is halfway, apparently. Yeah, but don't forget, though. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, the, it is midpoint. Yeah, literally just after that we did midpoint. But don't forget what happened was we um, we we had a few days in LA and we had a few days in Vegas as well, didn't we? Yeah, that's right. So it wasn't exactly two weeks of solid driving. It was yeah, no. about a week and a half. It will be yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. About a week and a half of actual solid driving. Just it was just after Texas, wasn't it, that we decided to go up to Santa Fe, wasn't it? Well, yeah, we got into New Mexico after Texas because although Texas is enormous, it's got a little kind of handling nub bit at the top I mean, you only drive through the narrowest bit virtually yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it doesn't yeah you don't you're not actually going through it for that long no then new mexico oh. is one of the biggest states to drive through or the largest areas of a state that you drive through because then we found the next night we did the we didn't stop at midpoint cafe because it was shut um and then no we, we, we did stop there and we took photos, photos uh, and the bikers came along as well at that point again I met yeah, them go, that's right go I, I don't think the cafe was open i think we had to drive on a bit further to get something to eat yeah we did, yeah, yeah. Didn't we? We did. We go to the Blue Swallow Motel. We did that night, but I think we actually stopped in another little tiny town, like nameless kind of strip of motels and houses and things in the middle of nowhere. And it looked really nice. It was like a nineteen sixties kind of diner, and which had had like a burger in there. And it's all got old casinos and things. And it was all very, very would have been lovely back in the sixties, probably. But it was virtually nothing there now. Mm. Um, but yeah, that was the night we made it to Tucum Carey because we kind of. In all the guidebooks, it says head to Tucum Carey, and it's in the old um, 30s and 40s adverts. It says, You've got to stop at Tucum Carey. So we did. And the high point of it, which well, we didn't stop because all the rooms were gone, was the Blue yes. Swallow Motel, which is a proper old neon place, and they got that old car park Because we went up and down the, the main street, didn't we? Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we stopped at a dinner in another sort of 1940s classic place, um, which was, it was okay, but there was nothing else to do in that town at all. And we were kind of stopping on the edge of town in like a chain hotel in the end that night, weren't we? Oh, yeah, we did. We stopped in like a proper big old sort of actual ho ho hotel, proper hotel. Yeah, because it was like a Holiday Inn opposite a Travel Lodge kind of just massive structure. And we, we just walked between the yeah, two yeah, three yeah. times to get the best price between the two of them. <laughs> we just knocked oh, no, $20 off the price for the night. We had nothing else to do that day. So. No, no, there was, it, we were literally in the middle of, no, of nowhere and yeah, couldn't. Um, do. Everything yeah. was shut. Turned, we just stopped in a bar for a little while, but there wasn't much atmosphere, so we went back to the, the hotel room. And then we overheard yeah. in the restaurant that there'd been a massive rodeo just out of town that day. And if we'd been the, we could have made that because we, we didn't know about it, but we were in time to have seen yeah, that. Yeah, we would have made it. Right, back from a, a quick cup of tea break, get refreshed cups of tea. That was a long first half of this video. Uh, and alcohol free beer. No, so I've actually given up drinking, so um, um, I'll have one of these instead. As a, as a result of this trip. <laughs> yeah. 200 so, yeah. dollars one whiskey, I think, was, uh, was enough to put anyone off. Yeah, well, that and the, uh, the night in, in, in Tucum Carey when uh, there's nothing to do, so polished off most of some peach moonshine. <laughs> yeah, so I, I took one sip of it and thought, mmm, that's delightful, I'll have a cup of tea. <laughs> Go on, Barry, knock yourself out. I literally mm. did. Um, <laughs> oh, you yeah. Yeah. So having a quick Sorry, skim back through the books. Oh, cheers. <laughs> Mug of tea. Um, yeah, we're just doing a quick 
a recap on places and times. Like, yeah, the, the Gun Museum was in a place called Claremont. And we just realised that the Desert Hills Motel in Tulsa, the Desert Hills Motel, we, as we checked out in the morning, we realised that there were bullet holes in the door, which had been filled with just like putty or filler or something at some point. We hadn't noticed when we checked in in the dark. And so the room, yeah, had been shot at in the past. Did we also find like an open air cinema going on in Tulsa hmm. as well? And Tulsa, not, when we walked around quite a lot and we found, yeah, that there was that really beautiful um, sort of modern park. Yes, it is like an amphitheater almost. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and they had the film on. It was a classic. It was something worth watching, but we kind of didn't really have time to sit and watch a movie because there's just too much to see in a, in a city you're only stopping for one night in. <laughs> It stopped it's half an hour just to soak in the ambience. I think we did, yeah, it was quite nice, but then I think mm. dinner was calling, so. <laughs> yeah, no, but it, yeah, was, yeah. it was yeah, very good. Yeah, I'll yeah. definitely go back to Tulsa again, definitely. Oh, yeah, I've actually read a book called, um, so, hang on, I'll lend this book to you, it's rubbish, but I'll lend it to you anyway. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> a Map of Tulsa. It's a book called A Map of Tulsa, which I read because it had Tulsa in the title. And it was just a bit depressing, really. Um, it's about a bunch of people and ends of friendships and stuff. Oh, thanks. It's like American <laughs> graffiti without the happiness and the hot rods. Um, oh, dear. Anyway, back to the road trip. We left yes. Newcomb Carey in the morning and we found more deserted stuff. I don't think we've really emphasised how much there is that's just deserted and abandoned on the way. I mean, this is yeah. the road out of Newcomb Carey, which was... A dirt track. Yeah, yeah. Well, we well, you've got to say that we did not go on the interstates as much as we could. No, so it's only really Arizona where we did that because there's nothing else to do. Um, yeah, actually, there was there wasn't another option. No, uh, that's right. But wherever we could, um, we the oldest alignment we possibly could, and in some cases, it was a lumpy dirt road that nothing but a four wheel drive would have made it down. I'll insert a clip of that right now if I can find it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, but it, it, yeah. yeah, I've got to say, actually, I, I wouldn't have gone down the interstate. Interstate's boring. Oh, I mean, yeah, you don't see anything at all. No, no, no. Nothing to see, nothing to do. Literally, it is yeah, it's terrible. But the mm. actual, um, I, I've got to say, the dirt roads, even though, you know, you might go for miles without seeing anything, um, just the scenery is beautiful. Oh, and, yeah. and it was things like, you know, when we came across that train track. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah, and there's a there was an epic, massive truck um yeah train freight trains oh, yeah just across yeah. the road we literally stopped just watching this train go by for what 10 minutes it was long enough to turn the engine off and and wonder if it was ever going to end so, yeah. yeah but um oh yeah it was, it was just epic and you don't you can't understand the scope of the scenery uh, no, it, it's so big the biggest biggest scene you can imagine it's, it's almost mind blowing. It's everything you've ever seen in a film, but more real because I guess it's real. Um, I think it's the, the reality of it. Reality of realness. Real. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> then that day, there was a, a really famous sort of swimming hole which we wanted <laughs> to find. And I don't think we actually did find it because it's, it's, it was possibly the coldest water anyone's ever been in. <laughs> I, I put my hand in and thought, nah, I'm good. <laughs> I had a shower this morning. It was, it because we'd actually gone slightly up into the mountains at this point. Well, yeah. And, and the guy and, t tells about this really famous swimming hole. It's like a, a must-do thing. It was, I think it was something called something like the Blue Lagoon or the Blue Hole. Or Blue something. Hole, that was it. But I don't think this is it. Looking back, I think this is just some random swimming hole, not actually the Blue Hole. Signs up for it. Everything. it that was actually it, but it was closed, obviously, because as far as they were concerned, it was winter. And, and, you yeah. Know, <laughs> we, we got there. Do you remember? Because when we got there, literally there was no one in the car park. It was totally dead. Yeah. Some people came along that were walking their dog. Yeah. And I was getting into my swimming trunks because I'd I'd said at the beginning that is it. I, that looks so picturesque. I am going swimming there. Yeah. The one thing I've promised myself <laughs> the whole trip that I was going to do. And uh, yeah, when we got there, it, it wasn't exactly warm. No. Tepid but, would be an exaggeration of with its warmth. No. And we, oh, we got out and I said, oh, you know, uh, why isn't people, people using it? And they're like, yeah, it looks so inviting. Yeah, that makes sense. It, 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 Water's it, so sparkly. <laughs> it, it's winter. For God's yeah. sake. Well, you jumped in talking. and you came back and more or less screamed. <laughs> and then swam back to the diving off area. And that's when you found there were no rungs in the ladder. <laughs> 
I had to swim round to the other side of the jetty to get out because it was it was it was very cold. Yeah, it was, it, was a, it was a little bit on the peaky side. There's a woman on a wardrobe door shouting "Jack, Jack!" quite a lot in the on the side of the pool. Um. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. I found so it's okay though because I did find this really nice necklace. Well, oh, did you? Yeah. Oh, that kind of makes it all, all right. Yeah, makes yeah. It fine. Um, yeah. But um, yeah, we uh, yeah we got out and uh, I quickly got a towel around me. I think and got <laughs> in the car, um, put the heating on. Um, but we did see a little snake. Um, yeah, um, there's a photo of the snake here. Um, and actually, we found a photo of the snake. Oops, there. Oh no, um, not that one. Oh, another no, snake. Not that one. No, that was later on because that was after that was near Santa Fe, wasn't it? Uh, no, but, this um, is the snake. This is, this is all. All these photos are in order. They're in chron chronological order. Ah, no, because uh, I was thinking. I was thinking there was a little one that was near the water. Um, oh right, no, there. I don't even think a photo of that one. No, that it, we did scarper off pretty quick when we came along. Yeah, I don't blame it. No, I don't but blame we it did either. find two stores called Richardson's, which is quite cool, um, in the literally middle middle of nowhere, which I thought was quite fun. Yeah, yeah, this is as we were on the way to Santa Fe because we we're going to go to Albuquerque, and like you said, there was the balloon festival, so we couldn't get any hotels in Albuquerque, so we had to drive to up to Santa, Santa Fe. Fe. And even Santa Fe was a nightmare because it was, it was the overspill from Albuquerque. From the hot air balloon festival. From the hot air balloon, it was huge. Yeah. And so, yeah, yeah. The, only, the only place we could find in Santa Fe even was quite an expensive hotel. It was, yeah, there. and it was quite a way out of town as well. So we had to kind of get a... a didn't the, they have a minibus running to and from the town, from the hotel? So we had to go and get the minibus yeah. down, yeah, which was quite cool. But Santa Fe yeah. was really pretty. Oh, here we got, I found a photo Ooh. here of the, um, <laughs> the phone... The phone holder in Yay! youth on the way to Santa Fe. There it is. And Santa Fe was a proper old kind of western town, wasn't it? It was really quite quite sweet. And a lot of adobe buildings and the architecture in Santa Fe is just yeah, I really like it. I think, I yeah, it was a really pretty, pretty town. Cool. And that was the night. Also, that when we go back to the hotel, there was like four taxis in Santa Fe, and one of them was a Ford Crown Vic, and I made us skip three taxis and wait for the Crown Vic to come back again, so we can have a ride in, in a Crown Victoria. Because I know these things are going off service. It's not going to be next time I come to America, there might not be Crown Vic taxis anymore. And this one I've done 400,000 miles. And the guy was really excited when I said why we, we stood on the taxi rank for so long. <laughs> but no, we had pizza yeah. that night. We had pizza in Santa Fe. We did. Yeah. Oh, you're right. Really, really good pizza. It was actually. It was really nice pizza. Yeah. yeah. I nearly bought a hat, but I didn't. I should have done. Um, yeah, there was, some, there was some very sort of Texas, New Mexico type sort of um shops local 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 and traditional that's the word tradition yes that's a good word traditional, yeah. yeah yes yeah no really nice santa fe actually i would definitely i think go back there again there, it, it, there was a lot of atmosphere yeah it was we, yeah, nice we to, there was that little bar upstairs wasn't there that we went that's to. right there was yeah it was above a shop or a restaurant or something but yeah it was quite cool it was, nice uh, it was a sort of a shopping center bit, oh wasn't that's it? right yeah yeah. I remember at that point we were actually both really knackered because we'd been sort of driving so long, so many hours. We both got like a, a beer each and then kind of sat on these really nice sofas and kind of fell asleep in the bar for a bit. Like, okay, let's, oh. no, let's just go back now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was, uh, that was, we were shattered, I, I think, yeah. I think we were on a long drive at that point. And <laughs> but then, I think driving out of there, we reached the, the Continental Divide. Hang on, I'll flash this photo up. It's where rainfall... Yeah. Rainfall falling either side of that particular hill goes either east or, east or west of the Atlantic or the Pacific. Got a long trip ahead of it. <laughs> okay, because that was definitely round about where I found the snake. Yeah, and okay, well, we're getting snake. into the New Mexico and Arizona desert at this point, because um, then we were sort of doing the, some slightly bigger roads. We were finding the, the piggyback trucks, which I was fascinated that they towed trucks that way. It's like four cabs. Yeah. Never seen anything yeah. like that. No, that, that, that was incredibly cool. Yeah, yeah. and the Did massive twin loco trains, the freight trains just disappearing along, sort of rolling alongside them. Because out of Santa Fe, we obviously had to get on the interstate to come back down, didn't we? Yeah, we did a little way, yeah. So, and then um, into some real desert roads. And the, the, I, we were quite close to the freight train, so I was like, leaning out the window to do car to train action photos, which is... <laughs> yes, that was your, that's your standard leaning out of windows, taking photos of other cars. Well, you get really good pictures that way. So I needed some good pictures of the trip, so we had to do that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, I did my standard thing, which was try to keep the exact same distance when you tell me it's right from the other vehicle. No, don't <laughs> change anything. 
Oh, dear. Then, we got, then we got to Winslow, Arizona, and we had to stand on the corner. I had to, I had to stand on the corner. Naturally, Absolutely. yeah. And well, it's it was quite dead town, actually. Yeah, I was going to say, it's kind of sad, the area, isn't it? Because they, they were obviously doing their best to cash in on the tourist trade, what there was coming through, which is, I think, growing a bit in the last few years. Yeah, because um, there was a statue on the corner, wasn't there? That's that you right, yeah. The, of um, the eagles. Yeah, with a guitar and everything. And there's a little sign, stand on the corner. <laughs> and so everyone does it, everyone takes a photo, and there's a big gift shop. Which I bought some some snacks in there or something, or did buy something. But, but yeah, those little towns that are like really suffering with just no no footfall, no people coming through. No, I mean the thing is, we were sort of almost slightly at the end of the season as well. So we were really, yes, it was very quiet. At the point. It's kind of a good time of year to go, really, because everyone's done it in that time, and the weather's not too unbearably hot in the desert areas, and we didn't really get the snow we were worried about. We got some frost though later on in um up by. Grand Canyon, yeah, 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 definitely. We did. Oh, I've forgotten this bit. Before we got to the Grand Canyon, we saw another big hole in the ground. Oh, the crater, asteroid crater, which yeah. is named asteroid crater. <laughs> that was so so cool. That asteroid crater, I love it. Was that. Amazing. Yeah, well, well, they wondered what to call it, so they called it what it was, which is yeah, what's that, a mile across or something? It was. Hang on. I'll, I'll flash it up here, but yeah, I'll put a proper photo in, insert a bulb. What you can't see from that image is the fact that there's actually a few buildings, almost like a little um, sort of like, um, uh, not, I wouldn't say a village, there's like three no. or four buildings at the bottom. Yeah, they were doing, a sense of uh, scale. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and you can just about see them. Well, there's a, there's a telescope, you put sort of 10 cents in to go and look at it, and you can st it still looks small to the telescope. Look. Yeah, they are, yeah. just over there. I can just about see them. Yes, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> and they're kind of, oh, I'll, I'll flash some photos up on the screen, but yeah, they, just to give you the, a sense of the scale of this place, it's absolutely amazing. Do they think it might be one of the asteroids that wiped out the dinosaurs or something, or they're just not really sure about that? Yeah, it was around then, or it was, it was definitely uh, of a scale where it would have wiped out um, a lot of the area. Yeah, yeah. No, that was impressive, but it's kind of, again, really far off the beaten track. You, you drive down the road, and then you have to go down another road for quite a few miles to get to this place, and then you're not gonna stumble yeah. across it by accident. No, because you really wanted to go and see this. Yeah. We didn't realise how much out of the way it was. No, we didn't, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I think uh, there's a fair amount of this on this trip. It was a lot of, are we, are we really sure we want to do this? We've driven an hour now, we kind of have to. <laughs> but, you know, the, um, there's nothing that I wouldn't have done again if we did no, again. You know? I don't think so, no. no it, was, it was an amazing trip. And the, thing, the only thing I regret is that we didn't have enough time to do everything we wanted to do because there's so many other stops we could have made to, to see see other things. Um, we tried to stop as many as we could, but there's only so many in a day you can do. Yeah, and, and also, it got to a certain part during the day we were thinking, actually, have we got enough time to stop again? Because we still yeah. need to make it on to so-and-so. Um, and we, in the end, we were cherry-picking, basically. Yeah, it had to a bit in the end, yeah. Although we did one thing we did do, we were so lucky to do this, because the Grand Canyon was something we wanted to do. Mm. Um, but it was shut because of the government shutdown. But the day we arrived in, uh, what was the town where we- William. William, yeah, that yeah. was it. They, the state funded opening the Grand Canyon for like, ah, oh, you got the ticket, awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, why didn't I go and get my book of memorabilia from somewhere? Actually, this, yeah, this, this is like your name. There it is, look, it's, it's, it is your, it's your one, look. Oh, sweet. Ha! Oh, so cool. But yeah, the state paid to open it for like four days or five days or something. The, yeah, day the, governor, arrived. the governor of the state had actually paid to get it open. Yeah. 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 So we stayed in in William and then we got the, the special train that goes up to the Grand Canyon for the day. And then steam back train. in. Proper steam train. Yeah. Was, actually, no, it wasn't. It wasn't a steam train, was it? Oh, uh, no. No, no, it wasn't, no, I think it was steam trains in the yard, but we, it was pulled by, they were old a, um, freight engines. Um, yeah, yeah were actually quite old, I think in the 1950s or 60s. Or six, I think 1960s, they, they were quite well known of a, an American train type. And if, there we go, here's the front end of one. Train loving friends will know exactly what this is and probably tell me in the comments. Um, Please do, because we, yeah. is there a picture of us standing in front of it? Because we are, it, it's, they are uh, massive. They are it's enormous, yeah, they're huge. huge. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it's like twice the size of a, of a standard UK train. It, yeah, it's, it, the scale is just, off the charts and the, the, the 
coaches were 1950s, I think, as well, weren't they? They were old vintage coaches that have been restored for this. Uh, not in the book, but there is a photo on the computer somewhere. And I'll flash that up, yeah, because uh, didn't you see a Golden Eagle as well that day? Golden Eagle, we saw a uh, moon. Um, and then when we got to the top um, on that, we got taken round, didn't we, in a coach? That's right, yeah. Um, and uh, at one point, I must admit, I was desperate for a wee. <laughs> and uh, I was um, just about to nip into the woods near where we'd stopped at one point um, to um, water the fauna. And, um, and I was told by the bus driver, please don't go too far. There's been lots of wild lions spotted in the area <laughs> uh, today. I'm like, oh, okay. I don't need to go anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I really need to go. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Yeah. Obviously, the Grand Canyon is big, but you don't. You, it's impossible to put it into words. Even photos don't really convey the scale of thing. When you're standing at the top and looking into it, it's insanely big. Yeah, I mean, we, the photos just don't do it just. No, they're, they're nice photos. They're nice pictures, but they are just nice pictures yeah. of a, a big thing. But then you stand there, it looks like you're looking at something that's somewhere else. <laughs> Because you can't comprehend that the thing that you're looking over there is the other side of the thing you're standing on. It's just so vast. It's like looking at different. We stand- yeah, well, we were we were standing at the top, and um, they were about to do treks down. Do you remember? Oh yeah, um, yeah, donkey or horse treks or something. That's it. And and there were actually the people that were doing the horse treks were going down into the canyon, and they were going to be sleeping. Oh yeah. At the canyon that night, and then coming back out the next day. Yeah, that would have been I, cool. That would have been very cool. I think. I, I think. Um, we would have, I think that is definitely something for, for, for next mm. time. Well, we did look at paying the $50 so you could drive into the canyon in the car. Yeah, we, we did. We were measuring, they said you need your ground clearance of like this much, and we were sort of lying under the car going, well, hang on, it's got, do you reckon that'll go? No. <laughs> no. no, no. <laughs> we are like, yeah, I reckon it might do. Yeah, but what if it doesn't? <laughs> it's, it's very <laughs> close. How much is it going to actually, uh, for the damage that's going to be done to the underside of this vehicle? And, and to get towed out again as well. <laughs> so yeah, we, we didn't do that. But yeah, if, if we do it again, maybe rent like a proper Jeep instead of a more, small SUV. Yeah, it's interesting actually, the thing about the, the American Toyota is that the build quality didn't look as good as European Toyotas, if that makes sense. The interior was a lot more sparse. Yeah, the buttons were very big and there weren't as many of them, but I suppose it was a low spec rental car, but also being white, you could see defects on it and it looked kind of like there was rust in the door seams on the thing. Well, I think they did, as I say, give us the oldest possible vehicle. Um, yeah, yeah. Good. It had seen life. Oh. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. It, 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 it was, uh, it'd been treated, I wouldn't say well treated, but it'd oh. definitely been treated. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but I've got to say, it was comfortable. It was comfortable, yeah. It um, was economical as well. I think we did about $30 of fuel every day or two. Yeah, about that. Like, yeah. Fuel. yeah, and we were doing um, a lot of miles every day. We were, and, and it, it, it was proud, I've got to say. I mean, you know, it, it, did, it did really well in that car. Yeah, it was a nice car. Oh, it's, as, I don't like SUVs, but I kind of felt a soft spot for that car at the end of that trip. So. Yeah, yeah, I did as well. And as I say, I'm not an SUV fan, but um, yeah, no. Yeah. It's, it... So we're into more more dirt tracks, because I think this dirt road here, on uh, the bottom, this is the one we followed yes. off the main road, and we drove for about 45 minutes to an hour, and it, it was gated at the end. Someone had got their own private land across it, and they put gates there. Oh, yeah. And I got oh, out to try and open the gate, and there was a couple of Alsatians running loose, so I had to run back to the car quite quickly before being attacked by dogs <laughs> so I had to turn around and drive back the other way and then... yeah because it was supposed to be a right of way wasn't it it was supposed yeah. to be uh, a track that you could actually go down but yeah someone just gated and put their caravan or trailer in there so that must have been I think that was after Flagstaff because Williams is just after Flagstaff because cool. the other thing we didn't mention about Williams is just um, outside the hotel was the cowboy um, experience Oh, yeah. I'd forgotten that. Yeah, because you did the cowboy experience where you got on the train, didn't you? I'd, yeah, I'd totally yeah, forgotten yeah. that. That was, yeah. that was really cool. And they sort of took us in there and did the whole gun shooting thing. Yeah, and, oh, that was and, cool. And they pretended to, to they stopped the train and pretended they were being raided by highwaymen cowboys and stuff. Yeah, and they said, um, put your money in the bags. Yeah. And, and, uh, <clears throat> and then somebody, uh, one of the attendants went, only put what money you 
want to put in for them in the bag, okay? Don't put all your money in. Because there was that guy, do you remember, who just put like, all of his money in? Yeah. Like, like, no, 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 you're not going to get it back. <laughs> this isn't for show, this is for tip. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like a $5 in or something. It's $300. What? <laughs> Uh, and when do I get this back? I was thinking it was like the, the magician where he smashes your watch and gives you your watch back later on. No. No, you don't get that back. No, they've already <laughs> left. Mate, yeah, they're, they're riding back to town for beers. And, yeah. yeah. You can go after them now if you like, um, but uh, they've got guns. And, and horses. So, yeah, they're far yeah, away. Yeah. We, actually, Williams was the other thing we did. We went and found that bar and we played that hacky sack game with the locals. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, with some Australian guys who were yes. going the same okay. direction as we were the following day. We, were, we kind of half arranged to meet up with them, but didn't see them again. Yeah, we didn't see them again. No, that's right. Because um, oh, they're like, oh, you're English. And they're like, oh, you must be you know, crap at games or something. And we beat them at that throwing hacky sack game. <laughs> yeah. They, were very, they, were, they weren't very happy about it. But, no, know. they weren't, no. <laughs> but there's also where they, they introduced, well, not the, the Australians, but the barman introduced us to that Jack Daniels honey stuff, whatever it's called. That was really nice. Yeah, which is which is which is one of the reasons I've given up drinking. Actually, <laughs> too nice. Oh God! Now we are. Good for. It's fine. Yeah. Well, now we are definitely. Oh, oh, no, oh there was the other thing actually about Williams. Go on, we yeah. were in that bar chatting away. The guy came in. Do you remember? We actually with a six shooter. Oh yeah! Didn't you have to leave and it behind the bar or something? You have to leave it at the bar with the barman yeah. whilst he's having a drink. Yeah. And. Um, and he went, yeah, no, it's, it's, it, you know, I'm a local and, you know, this is, this is normal. So. Yeah. Anyway, I've found the anyway, Roku sorry. Cafe. Which one? It's in Nevada. Or in the Arizona-Nevada border. Oh, yeah. Roku Cafe. Where they, yeah, the, did they say they would actually kill it, cook anything you found killed on the road? Yeah. That was it. Yes. We, you kill it, we cook it. You kill it, we grill it. It's got a rhyme. <laughs> oh, sorry. You, okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, that was really nice. That's a really nice fruit pie, like a blueberry pie or something in there as well. That was really quite nice. That was the best pie I had, I think, the entire trip. Oh, was it? Yeah, it was an amazing pie. I think oh, I happily stayed there a lot longer and had more pie. I think maybe it was um, key lime pie as well. There were too many. The pie list was really quite quite a lot. It was quite extensive, the pie list, yeah, wasn't there's it? There a lot of pie, yeah. Mm. Tune in now for um, Pie Talk with Matt and Barry. <laughs> <laughs> nom, nom, nom. <laughs> now, it's making me feel hungry now it's terrible <laughs> well, this is quite a nice nice wilderness landscape we drove through this was the area where, where there were all the the donkeys just loose in the tree it was on the sick greaves pass we drove up and there was a, a mountain top called the witch's teat yes that's it and we drove up there to the sick grieve park which is which is like the highest point on the route virtually. Yes, because we cut through here to get to Vegas. That's right, yeah. And yeah, it was yeah, yeah. elevation of 3,550 feet, which is quite high. Is, uh, that, is that Lupton? Uh, yeah, I think it was, yeah. On the downside, there was a little tiny wild westy town and there was just, yeah, donkeys everywhere. And that's where I pulled out. I was desperate for, for the toilet at that point, so I nipped off for a quick wee behind a bush and realized I'd parked the car with the dash cam following, <laughs> filming. <laughs> Yeah. I'll delete that. <laughs> oh god. But then yeah, when we went to Vegas after that. <laughs> but we stopped off at the um oh, what was the oh the Shelby Museum at the um the raceway. Oh what in Vegas? Oh well, god, on the edge yeah. of Vegas, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, yes he did. Yes, in fact. I've got I've got actually I've got I've got at least one of the tickets from Vegas. Oh oh oh, oh cool, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's some nice cars, isn't it? It's not a really big museum, but there's a lot of really cool stuff in there. The Shelby one, I thought it was good actually. No, there's the racetrack next door, wasn't there? So um, yeah. there was a couple of cars going around there. Which you couldn't get cool. into that without paying, but you could hear the cars racing around. I think it was just practice. And they, yeah, and most of them weren't Shelby's, in all fairness. There was uh, those Lamborghinis and Ferraris. And oh, and the racetrack, there. you mean? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, but some interesting stuff that the Shelby's have worked on, like the kind of Dodge Horizon, which looks like a tiny Chrysler Horizon, but with a you know, turbocharged. Um, engine in it and quite a few other fun things in there as well so that was that was good yeah it was un yeah it was definitely interesting and, and and obviously it's also their proper showroom where you can actually buy the cars as well yeah that's true yeah so we did have to sort of drag each other out on that one yeah, yeah but credit card away you do not need i do need it. <laughs> <laughs> i 
I've got to say, actually, I'm a much bigger fan of the current Mustang than I was that particular version. Yeah, so it was, I think it was a big, heavy lump, really. They've come um, on a long way. The last sort of 15, 20 years, they've, they've kind of gone back onto form because, yeah, the first time I went to America, onto to the West Coast, um, I rented a Mustang convertible and it was awful. It was a V6 rental special and I had a Freelander at the time and the Freelander was faster than the, <laughs> the Mustang off the lights. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I mean, that's saying something. Uh, yeah, the, the V6 Actually, was automatic. The was a diesel as well, wasn't no, it? No, I had the 1.8 petrol because, but oh. because it was a bit slow. I stuck an induction kit on it and it, it made it go quicker. Because um, I had uh, the diesel one that I used to use for a work car sometimes. Oh, really? I had to have on that. Yeah, and that was actually, that was all right, actually. That. Mm. Oh, um, not in Vegas then. We did, we did the strip in Vegas, didn't we? Oh, we went, oh, I'll tell you what we did, else we did in Vegas. Ooh. You can say the stratosphere. Uh, what was this? Oh yeah, I'd forgotten that the gun store. Yeah, there's a lot, a lot of shooting stuff on this trip. <laughs> <laughs> we actually got to shoot guns ourselves. Because um, there's a package you can buy at this place just off the strip where you need to fire very. Because when you went in, they had all the different guns on the wall, and you got to yeah. choose. So I'd do a package, which I did a package. I did a uh, MP5 um, uh, Hecken Crosh, and I also did a. Uh, Sig Sawyer, didn't I? I think yeah, I, right, yeah. I, had to, I had to do it. It was, it was really good. Uh, yeah. But yeah. Was, uh, then we parked at the Strat, the Stratosphere, and oh, managed yeah. to blag up to the observation deck for free, which is only about $20 each, isn't it? Yeah. We just sort of walked into the elevator. Well, and then the guy said, Where are you going? Do you have a ticket for the observation deck or are you going to the restaurant? And we said, We're going to the restaurant. Restaurant. So we went to the restaurant looked at the menu on the wall and then took the stairs up to the observation tower. Looked at the prices. Well, yeah, uh, but I will buy a burger on the observation deck instead. <laughs> yeah. And, and then went up there, which was yeah. great. Which is it amazing. Very... And then we saw the moment a relationship ended when a boyfriend and girlfriend were on that thing that shoots over the side of the strap. And he had clearly persuaded her to go on the ride and he was enjoying it. And the look on her face said everything about, the moment I get off this, you are so finished. <laughs> I think if it was you survived screaming. from downstairs, I'm dumping you. I think it was the screaming that did it for me. I, I thought to myself, he and, and uh, she did look like she needed new underwear. Yes. That's all I'm saying. Um, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't have done it. No, no, God, no. We looked at it. We said, shall we, shall we go on one of these things? And we said, well, let's go and look and see what they look like. And we just, just no. <laughs> I'm not hanging, what was it, a thousand feet up or whatever it is, over the side of a building uh, waiting. Yeah. Put that one bolt to shear and then to crash to the ground. You've got time to phone home and say goodbye if that thing breaks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you probably have actually. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. No, that was uh, that was that was uh, that was interesting. Yeah. I to admit, I've got to say there was some very, very cool stuff in Vegas, but it was probably my least favourite destination. Yeah, I'd agree with that because I've been to Vegas before and I wanted to see it again, but I wasn't excited about it going. But you'd never been, so I was you know happy to go because. Everyone should see Vegas, really. Um, I think from the time we went before, the thing I enjoyed most about Vegas was the Hoover Dam, which is 40 minutes outside town. Because we didn't go. We were going to go to the Hoover Dam. and oh, then yeah, we, didn't. We, were, we ran out of time for some reason. I forget why we were... Yeah, we did. Always out of time. Yeah, yeah but we... Um, uh, yeah. Uh, I think the thing that, again, uh, getting back to the smoking, it was the fact that in um, Vegas hotels, they allow in the oh, casino, yeah. Like, yeah. Doors, casinos, um, but they allow people to smoke. Um, yeah, they don't want people to leave the building, do they? So yeah, exactly. Um, and when you actually go in, you have to actually specify, really specify that you do not want a smoking room. Yeah, very, very clear on that, because <laughs> otherwise, yeah, you will be dumped in a stinking room that is not very nice at all. But we stayed in the Luxor, didn't we? But we didn't stay in the room. We stayed in the outside square bit, which apparently is in nicer rooms. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We didn't stay in the pyramid itself, but yeah. So that's why we went. To, we decided we had to go to a Vegas show, which it, it was. A, it was a weird. I mean, I've I've been to the Moulin Rouge, mm. uh, and I actually found that well, really a bit dated, really tacky, really tacky. It was, yeah. I mean, I wasn't and, massively in the mood for anywhere that night because my phone had crashed, and I'd lost all the data because I was trying to do this this trip for like taking photos, and I was recording data from all the, the photos I'd taken, the locations and everything for captions and things. For, for work when I got back and the phone had crashed and lost at this point 10 days worth of information I was really not happy and so yeah 
I was that was my least good night of the entire trip. I think. Yeah, I, I think it was the it was the I mean the all the fountains things outside the Bellagio were amazing. Oh yeah, yeah, that was amazing. The pirate ship. Yeah, you're going to could... walk up and down the strip. Give yourself loads of time, yeah. loads of time, because it takes forever. And the walkway, yeah. you think, okay, I'm just going to walk up and down the road. No, that's not how it works. They force the footpaths through the hotels and that's then out, like in and out of the casinos to stop and buy. And then yeah, yeah, and then bring up into another one and then round a. Oh, the little Venice thing was quite cool. That's, that's quite fun. Yeah, that was whichever one that was in. Yeah, we saw a wedding that day. We think we saw a wedding going on oh, in yeah. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Really yeah, I don't. I wouldn't want to get married in Vegas. No, no. Says so the guys that got married in LA, but um, <laughs> it's a very different experience, though. <laughs> totally different experience, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. The reason why we went to Hooters mm. was because they said that had the cheapest blackjack tables. We spoke to somebody oh, really? in our hotel, and they said, "Oh, if you want um, like less than ten dollar blackjack tables or something, go, to, go there. Go there. And that oh, that yeah. was the reason why we went." Um, and then we couldn't get on them for love nor money because there were so many people queuing to get on the table. Everyone wanted to get on the cheapest blackjack table, so we didn't yeah. really do any gambling yeah, yeah. at all there. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so, because that was it, because the actual Hooters itself actually had its own casino. Yeah, that's right, yeah. And we were walking from the Luxor, and I was trying to sort of follow it without using uh, SatNav or GPS or anything on the phone. But I, because I've been there like five years before or something, but it changed so much. They brought so many new buildings, didn't recognise anything. Oh, then, we, but then we did take a drive out and we drove out to the um, the sign, the Welcome to Las Vegas sign in the middle of the highway. Absolutely, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you yeah. had to go out. You had to go. I'd never done before. So, uh, so I've driven past it before because it's a really good out of town shopping centre. We went to me and my wife last time and bought loads of sort of dirt cheap clothes because it's like a really sort of cheap outlet type place. Um, this time we didn't go there. But <laughs> why did we go there? We didn't go there. No, we we'd, we'd got places to go. <laughs> but didn't we give some? English couple a ride back who also stopping to take photos. So they got a cab right up to that sign and um, then couldn't get a didn't cab realize, back. They didn't realise how far it was going to be because they got out of the cab, did the whole thing, and then thought, bugger it, we're in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, so we, we gave them a ride back into the, into the town, I think. <laughs> yeah, that was a bit weird. Yeah. I mean, not that was weird. It was just, it was, I mean, when we walked from ours, which was our hotel Luxor, to right the, the strip. Yeah. yeah, the opposite end yeah. of the strip. And it's not much quicker to drive it because the road, the strip itself is so gridlocked that moving around there is very, very slow indeed. And there's, there's more I'd like to go and do in Vegas if I go back again, like the Neon Museum, which is all the you know, retired neon signs and everything are all kind of, in you know, like a dirt graveyard. And there's a really good frozen custard place as well near there, which I want to go to. But <laughs> yeah, nice. that's for another trip. But I think it's kind of, yeah. the kind of place, if you're going on a road trip, it's good for like maybe a day or two days just to have a quick stop see some insanity and then move on um but yeah don't don't plan to spend a week there because you'll grow to hate it pretty quickly i think it's my takeaway from vegas i i would totally agree yeah um yeah i i found it it's just shattering and uh, we were already tired at this point anyway yeah yeah i think that didn't really help um and and it and it's it, I well the thing I the thing I've always said to my, my wife actually about this is that, that I just found I found Vegas seedy. I think that's what yeah, it is. It is it is very, very seedy, yeah. Very yeah. <laughs> as we were walking along the strip, you basically you're getting you're getting thrust at you. Uh the calling the, cards. Yeah. yeah. Um we were trying to play snap. <laughs> oh yeah, I've got this going already. No, no, hang on, I'll trade you. Oh, that. oh there we go. <laughs> it's really cool. Yeah, um, yeah, trading cards with the yeah, <laughs> the cool girls cards. The thing that got me was the fact that it, you know there was there was like the billboard being dragged you know uh, driven down the, the the strip all the time, um, which I've never seen a billboard on the back of a, you know uh, a, a trailer before being and, and it was just you know call this number and the girl be in your room in twenty minutes. Yeah, so, and how, I'm thinking, how is she going to do that? Yeah, <laughs> never mind that. Can I get a ride in the car that's giving her a lift? Because that's a really good. <laughs> Because I want to get someplace. <laughs> it takes me 20 minutes to get from the, you know, the downstairs of my hotel. In the lobby to the, yeah, to the room. room. Yeah. So, but, <laughs> how the hell does that even work? In but, incredible, yeah. But yeah. We came out Thank of Vegas. Yeah, thankfully. And mm. then we moved into, into California at last. It was quite a long oh. time out of, out of, through the hills. It's like a big freeway out of Vegas into California. Um, and you, you come down, don't you? And there's some beautiful um, um, scenery. And again, oh, yeah. it's that whole sort of 
the panorama that it's just so big you, sort yeah. of, you come down and you, you sort of come over a ridge and you sort of, then you can just see for miles yeah and it's a bit like in like the movie juggernaut there's just huge hills and open road and just yeah just desert for as far as you can see and big kind of sweeping turns over the hill it's just really quite incredible and we drive mm. through sam's town as well the, like a mini vegas on the way to california Oh yes, that was the uh, the um, Native American run one, wasn't it? I think so. Yeah, yeah. We didn't we just kind of drove through, but then we did stop in San Bernardino and stop in the Wigwam Motel for the night. We did indeed. We did it's indeed. Quite a cool place. It was 1940s, I think, isn't it? It's got concrete individual wigwams. Yes. Yeah, and that that was just literally just outside LA, really, wasn't it? I mean, it was, it was only, yeah, it's on the in, in LA County. Um, yeah, we're yeah, taking right. a, a turn off at that point to go and visit a friend, weren't we? To yeah, and we, we we met him. He came along to the the um, the, the hotel, didn't he? The, the, the right. yeah, later on, because um he and when he when he turned up, he went, Are "You guys staying here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's the problem? Yeah, and he went, not that nice an area. <laughs> yeah, to be fair, it wasn't. The Wigwam Motel looks beautiful. It looks like a really nicely managed kind of camping park kind of thing, but then the the road is off." Looks like there's kind of gang shootings going on. But I mean, I, I mean, luckily enough, I mean, I, I, I was wearing earplugs at night because it was on the main road anyway, wasn't mm. it? So, but um, I had a great night's sleep, and you know, the yeah. room had everything I wanted in it. So it was nice, yeah. But the, yeah. that was one of the few nights we didn't sort of have like a twin room, but we had like a room each because it only had double beds in them. So we got like a, a wigwam each. So it was quite nice to have a room to yourself for a change after sort of yeah. that long on the road. <laughs> we didn't get many rooms <laughs> like that because of the, the the cost of the hotels. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, uh, but no, we were lucky actually. We, in every room was um, at least uh, 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 what, um, two single beds or, or two doubles. In fact, quite often it's two doubles because the rooms are so big, aren't they? I mean, you're sharing a room, but you may as well be in a different room because you're so far away across the across the thing. <clears throat> yeah, <laughs> but some yeah, we sort of had a nice meal in a generic chain restaurant in a strip mall somewhere that night, and then. <laughs> Decent, nice sleep in the in the in the wigwam, which is quite cool, and that was that was good. Is that was the night? Obviously, we 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 met up with uh, with um, uh, our friend um, that evening, and yeah, we it was it was a strip mall, wasn't it? We drove we drove like an hour. There was just nothing around. around. Yeah, I don't know if it's a place he knew, or if it's just there was nothing in the area. There must be something in San Bernardino you can go to, but I don't know. We yeah, just didn't see anything we could stop at. It was like an Applebee's or something stupid. It was nothing exciting. No, it wasn't anything. No, was that? No, because it was the next night we went to that English restaurant. Actually. Oh, yeah, that was when we actually made it into LA proper because we reached the end of the trail the next night. But on the mm. way, do you remember that mad, mad glass... Um, <gasps> the bottle the place! Bottle forest or whatever it was called. Oh, my God, that was amazing. It was just an entire sculpture park where he'd made a forest out of metal racks with glass bottles put on them. One guy, one yeah. guy, working basically here. picking up left over four years yeah and then making them into something beautiful <clears throat> and it's just one of those things that's at the side of the road and you could blast past it so easily but we kind of knew it was coming so we were watching out for it but it was just in a deserty road middle of nowhere but fantastic yeah no i, I if any of you go honestly stop there just look around it's wild it's wacky but it's it's just beautiful and yeah. because you're in the middle of the desert at this point as well still um just the way the sun, because the sun is, it, it, it was just yeah, yeah. in the way. Um, it, oh, just beautiful through the glass. They, they all glow, don't they? They makes the kind of mm. air around them kind of glow in different colours. It's it's quite spectacular. Yeah, and obviously where the, the, the light is refracting, obviously through the glass as well, all the ground is all different. Yeah, the multicolour, isn't it? All blue, green yeah. and brown, bro, I see. But yeah, <laughs> then we finally made it to the end. We, we reached the, what, is it that night we, we reached the end? I think it was. Uh, we hit yeah, it Santa was because we Monica. had two nights in Santa Monica. Yeah, I think we did because we, we had a couple of nights in LA to go and explore the city itself and go out and we, well, we hit the, that night we did the end of the trail, actually made it to the pier, yeah. Santa Monica Pier. We had a yeah, hotel that was just walking distance from there. Um, <laughs> this is the, the final photo and everyone on Facebook commented, Wow, you found free bike parking in LA. <laughs> 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 but uh, we did have a couple of days to actually explore the town. So we went up to the Hollywood Hills, got behind the Hollywood sign, which is pretty cool. 
And yeah, very cool. saw that epic view of the city, the iconic view of LA downtown. Well, it's Queen Mary, which is, small. if you're in LA, it's a bit of a drive out down to Long Beach, but go and see the Queen Mary. It needs people supporting it and seeing that ship. It's a 1936 British Art Deco Ocean Liner, Cunard's greatest ship, probably. Um, also, um, I've, I've seen, I've seen um, on uh, another YouTube channel um, some guys that go out and actually look at haunted areas. Mm. Um, and they spent a couple of nights actually in the Queen Mary. Uh, and in one room, which actually now has no bed or anything. Yeah, in it, I've been in that room, yeah. But yeah, uh, and, uh, but yeah, so if you like the spooky stuff, uh, obviously try to check that out as well. Um, yeah. And, um, oh, oh, Peterson Museum. I was, was going to say, yeah, the, the Queen Mary takes every book from Art Deco interest, nautical interest, engineering interest, and supernatural interest. It's everything on place and some really good restaurants on board as well. But yes, Peterson and, Museum. And also, the the, um, uh, the Queen Mary itself is how many times bigger than the Titanic? It's oh, like four times the size of the four. Titanic. Yeah, yeah. Titanic's quite a comparison. Yeah, you sort of stand and you look um, down the corridors and you can't see the end. Yeah, because there's, there's a bow to the hull, so they kind of disappear like a horizon. <laughs> it's really amazing. It's yeah, very cool. yeah, yeah. It's, it, it's an amazing feat of engineering built in the 30s during the depression up in oh, Scotland. Um, I think the government kind of part funded it to kind of help the, the shipyards and the workers out of the depression at the time. But yeah, and then they employed some of the greatest artists of the decade to kind of furnish it and uh, to decorate it. And so, yeah, it's, it's a visual treat in every respect. And when you see the engine rooms as well, that's an also- I was about to say the engine rooms are so <laughs> impressive. <laughs> Vast, like a cathedral. Yeah, 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 yeah. absolutely. I, I mean, I've never seen like rotors that big. It's just on a different scale, isn't it? Yeah, it's insane. And at the time, it was the fastest, well, one of the fastest ships in the world. It was an ocean liner that was quick enough that you could water ski behind it. What? Yeah. How would you get back in again afterwards? I think it's a different problem. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but it held the, the held the blue ribbon it, before the war and again after the war after something else had got faster than it it managed to to retake the blue ribbon which is the fastest atlantic crossing and it held it for a long long time um i forget if it was no it wasn't the last one to hold it wasn't the uss america or SS america did it um but no it, during the second world war it was known as the gray ghost yes and there was and us they painted it gray they it held the record for the most people on a moving object ever, over 15,000 people on board the ship when they were troop shipping. And there was an iron cross and the equivalent of about a million pounds reward for any U-boat's captain who managed to sink it. It couldn't sail with an escort because it was faster than any of the Navy's ships. So it just zigzagged across the Atlantic at top speed, which is about what, 35, 40 miles an hour. It was, yeah, it's a thing and a half. It really is. But yes, anyway, as this is a car channel, Let's talk about the Peterson Museum, which was <laughs> one of the things I was always going to be a place we were going to get to because we missed a couple of car museums along the way. Because in the, the town of Studebaker, there is the Studebaker Museum with Studebakers, um, which we, we missed. And the Auburn Museum. We missed yeah. it completely. And it was Auburn Museum. Um, and there's one little tiny town we stopped in and there was a car museum that looked like it was shut, but there was a really angry trucker being pulled over by a cop across the street. So we didn't really feel like um, investigating the car museum because it looked Definitely. like he might be carrying a gun in the cab. <laughs> 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 but the pictures yeah. are just amazing because um, it's never changing display. Every time you go, there's something different because they've got so many cars in, on hold underneath. Yeah. Yeah, and, 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 and obviously things like um, uh, the 1966 Batman Bat Cycle. Yeah, a lot um, of movie cars in there. there as well, yeah. Green Hornet's car. Yeah, the Green Hornet's car. Yeah, they had uh, one of the James Bond cars in there, and I can't remember which one it was now. I think it was the Jag. Uh, yes, I think it did, yeah. And, um, uh, but they had, uh, you know, just amazing other cars, like... Um, there was... There was, there was uh, we've got this Hot Wheels, which is the Rolls-Royce Phantom Corvair, or Corsair, which I thought was a made-up car, or would have thought was a made-up car, if I hadn't seen this in the Peterson Museum for real. And that is utterly beautiful. Oh, they've got a, um, an EV1, um, the GM electric car from the 90s. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, apparently none of them are supposed to exist anymore. In no, they've all been taken back and crushed. Yeah. yeah, 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 but they've, they, got they've still got one. And they've also got the, um, the jet turbine car, which also I think is a Chrysler. Chrysler, uh, yeah. like Rover did one in, in, in Britain and uh, Chrysler did one in America and they've got one, I think it still runs. I think Jay Leno may have driven it. 
Yeah. yeah, and they've got the gold DeLorean, the gold plated DeLorean from the American Express. Yeah, the Mastercard, I think. MasterCard, wasn't it? Sorry, yeah. Master, I know American Express. No, you're right. No, it was. It was American Express. Yes, yeah, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Which was a, a thing to behold. I mean, yeah. Let's face facts here. The, the gold on there alone, even if it's paper thin, would actually be worth more than probably the car is itself. It's um, probably worth nearly as much as my Volvo. Wow. Wow. Um, <laughs> So are you thinking of gold plating your Volvo? Actually, I don't think about silver plating it, because it'll look a bit like the original paint. Ooh, that'd be ooh, nice. I like that. Yeah, that, that go full, full value and go platinum, because platinum is more expensive than gold. It's, and, it, and it possibly wears slightly better. Might do, yeah. It's quite tough stuff. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> well, there's another project in lockdown for you. Yeah, hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah let me know when you're done. I'll watch your channel. It's fine. I'll just... Yeah. Uh, fine. yeah. yeah. You'll know when it's done. But yeah, that, so that was Route 66 in a nutshell. Hopefully, as well as a bit of commentary, I'll have because my plan was to, if you look at the early videos of this channel, you can see that almost day by day, the time lapse of driving through the, the, well, the continent. Um, so I'll run, you will have seen some of that running in the background of this and lots of photos of the trip itself. So yeah, Barry has been become my kind of road trip buddy, I guess you call that. Yeah, because we did after this, we did, North Coast 500 a little while later. And we've had the next trips kind of been on hold for a little while, hasn't it? So we need to do the next trip soon. Yeah, I stupidly bought a rather big house to renovate. So um, yeah, I, I that really? it's totally my fault. And um, Matt has uh, obviously reprimanded me severely. Um, so, yeah. Why are, you, why are you doing sensible investments in property when we could be driving across a continent somewhere? <laughs> <laughs> but we do have another plan which we can't talk about now because it's all on hold but yes once traveling is allowed again then yeah we'll start making very booking crossing very crossing bookings or something it, but know. it might be plain who knows well, we're going to start from this country in a car but we don't know where we're going to end though and as as we are waterlocked everything starts with a ferry <laughs> or a plane or a plane <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're going to get one of those with the old um planes that flew from Manston into France yeah they're the transporters back in Gosh. the 60s and or 50s and you could you yeah. could start your holiday by flying to France from Manston um that was a uh, the way to travel we could do a hovercraft but then it'd be the Isle of Wight and it'd be a very short trip yeah yeah we did stuff to go somewhere after that really in the meantime though priest we'll do like a, a chat through the north coast 500 in a, in a couple of weeks time yeah that was a, another great trip as well more Again, absolutely amazing scenery yeah. and amazing people. Actually, I've got to say, my um, I've never been to America. This was, but that the Route 66 was the only uh, one time I've ever actually been to America. And um, you know, you watch all these programs about Americans, and you sort of think, oh my God, what are they going to do? Um, but I've got to say, we met nothing but absolutely lovely people on the entire trip. That is uh, true. We, yeah, and we had. The people themselves, the, the character of the towns and the people changed state to state an awful lot. But the one thing that stayed the same was that everyone was un, unerringly friendly, whether it was in like the uh, Missouri. Every night we stopped in a bar or a restaurant and just chatted to the people around us. And they were always really nice. Yeah. Whether they sort of agreed or disagreed in, about whatever we were talking about. It was never an unpleasant conversation. Yeah. And I've got to say, the NC500, again, um, was exactly the same uh, as well. So, yeah, um, nice people. Yeah. In Scotland as well. So, um, a lovely place. But yeah, we'll do that one as a, a next video. Yes. Until we can actually do real road trips again, we'll have to make do with reminiscing about previous ones. Yes. Or, or we just, we'll do Google images uh, and, and then actually to pretend we're driving down. Oh, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God, look, there's number seven. <laughs> <laughs> it, it'll, it'll work. <laughs> right, well, I hope you've enjoyed this, everybody. If you have, let us know. If you haven't, keep it to yourself. And we'll see you again in another video soon. Goodbye. Take care. <laughs>